Oh, trying to find this on here. Here, found it. Hey now! Hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now! We are live, hey now! Let's get the word out. Oh my god, it's got lyrics. <laughs> it is lyrics. Hey, Eighth. One ring to rock them all. One ring to rule them. One ring to sway them all. And in the music, hold them. Floppa. What a plane. <laughs> I love Oh, I'm into it. Hey, Alice. How y'all doing today? No pink text today. Nice. Wait. Come here, bro! Nice! I had to do it. Oh, I didn't know what you were talking about when you said flop. I'm like, flop up, yeah. Flop, 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 flop. <laughs> so we're playing Lord of the Rings Volume 1 today. Which, okay, I have the game here. I, I, I was, oh God, I was like maybe 14 or 15 years old when I saw this. Right? Sitting on the shelf, I'm like shit. I like Lord of the Rings. Let me buy this game, right? Only time I ever bought a game specifically because of a license that I liked. Ooh, yeah, it, it was disappointing. Like, it's not like it's the worst game ever, right? It's not like like Angry Video Game Nerd's never gonna cover it. You know what I'm saying? It's not that bad, but it's a disappointment. You know? Oh my God, what the hell happened here? Look at this, guys. Hold on, let me switch to. That's my water I think I can kind of just... All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> it just came like that. Oh, wrong thing. No, 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 no. All right. Slightly functional? That's all we can hope for, right? You mean you had a water bottle like that, or you were like that? You're like... Ugh. And somebody had to come by and just be like... <laughs> Oh, 
Actually, I think it was uh, almost certainly the Walmart people throwing the thing around the pallet that it was on, you know? Both? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you could fix the water bottle and your neck. I feel like that's what, like, um... Like a... Like a chiropractor does, right? <laughs> they just kind of like... Oh, that's a lot better. Floppa. Should I Google Floppa? So I don't... Let's see, Floppa. Oh, it's Big Floppa. Big Floppa's got it. Bro, Big Floppa's got a Wikipedia page. Big Floppa, or simply Floppa, is an internet meme based around a caracal named Gosha. Also referred to as Gregory, but the name Gregory is less preferred, so the meme community uses Floppa. I mean... There are, like, people who have done, like, things, important things, that don't meet the notability requirements for um, Wikipedia, but this cat has a Wikipedia page. And then at the bottom, it, see also... List of individual cats, and it brings me to a list of famous cats. And it's even, it's even like, before the modern era. Famous in own right, and then that's broken up by country. And then on the internet. And, and these names, hey, Harry's, like he got... Big Floppa, Bilbo the Cat, Bingus. We know about Bingus. Famous Nikki, Grumpy Cat, Jorts. Jorts? Wait, Jorts has his own page too. We're gonna, we're gonna show that to EB when they come around. <laughs> That's amazing. You follow Bilbo? Bilbo doesn't have his own Wikipedia page. He's just It just mentions him. A Twitter influencer recognized by the Scottish Parliament. You owned Lord of the Rings? Did you ever finish it? Because I, I never managed to finish it. I got, like, right to the end, and I couldn't, couldn't finish it. I was fighting the ball wrong, and I never, never managed to get him. I watched a video on how you could do it fairly easily. Look, what the guy in the video did is... Well, he only had two characters, right? But... He, uh... See, what he did is he parked Frodo behind this pillar that's on the left side of the boss arena. And the Balrog kept trying to hit Frodo, but he couldn't. And then, he, you know, he could just have Aragorn just hack away at the guy while the dude was trying to, like, kill Frodo. I even tried to play it with the mouse to see if that was easier. It was not. It was a lot harder. Understandable. That's a... The government doesn't do anything quickly or efficiently. Just keep that in mind. Posted a link to Bilbo the cat. This I gotta see. Oh. <laughs> Look at his face! Like he's got something to say! I mean, and he's... Well, he... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna follow this dude. This this cat dude. Right? <laughs> he's... Oh, what? It's fucking adorable. Yeah. I don't follow, like, cat pictures. I'm more of a, like, dog pictures guy. That cat is fucking adorable. I follow jeans and jorts, but that's because of all the leftist stuff on there. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, um, this game was... Like I said, it's not that it's, like, that bad, but it was so disappointing that I, uh... It put me off buying licensed games in general, unless I knew the reviews were good. And Lord of the Rings games in specifically, which is why I didn't play a lot of them. Like, I never played The Hobbit before, I, you know, the stream where I streamed it. And I enjoyed The Hobbit. I would have loved that game back in the GameCube days, you know. And I'm sure I have it, because I collected GameCube games. But I never played it, you know. Music's terrific. What was that from? It just changed songs, but... Uh, that was Tales of Symphonia. This is Soma Bringer. Soma, Soma Bringer looks like... Hold on, let me, let me show you guys what Soma Bringer looks like, because you got to see this shit. Isn't that like Saturday morning East? Right? Like, that's Adel as like a Saturday morning cartoon. Right? Lord of the Rings movie tie-ins were... Yeah, I played um, 
I played two towers, uh, because my cousin had it. And I played a little bit of Return of the King. That one was even better, but... But then there's, like, you know, like, the ones on, like, uh, like Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, which I don't have. But, well, I do have now, but I didn't have, but I haven't played them. I'm gonna stream those one day. But how's it going, Greg? It's East hit over the head with Digimon? Okay, that's accurate. I, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it, eh? No, not that I'm saying that I believe that he said that. I'm, I'm saying that I, I agree with him. He was probably right, right? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get started. Let's play the uh, the intro here. Ah! Yeet! We got to go out. We got to go out. We got to go out. Oh. Can't hide the aroma of flowers. You can with shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fire! <laughs> That's exactly what she said. It's something about her ass. Yeah, I get the feeling, though, she's very lonely. She kept talking about her ass. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you beat me! But now you're going to have to take on the desert route to get the water. Oh, I'm dead as shit. My home planet needs me. Goodbye! Let's, uh... Go down to my pond, I'll teach you the nature of getting quacked out. Fuma's alternate color is fucking whack. He looks like a fucking punk rock banana. Please enter box. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Come on, are you an ass? You think you could prevent me? You can't stop me, I can't be stopped. Oh, I could be stopped by that though. Oh, punish me, I got a knife. Oh, I'm a naughty. Abomination. Hey now. Wasn't that Dragon Warrior cartoon like, um. Why is it. It's like the game started on its own. Let me re reset this. Um. Wasn't that an anime dub? Pretty sure that was just an anime dub, right? Alright, here we go. Interplay presents. The music in this is really good. I should make it louder, because Harise has a good point. There we go, it's louder. Interplay Productions presents. J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, Volume 1. Look how the, the text is like perfectly straight. It doesn't go with the curvature of the pages. Book 1, Chapter 1. There was never a book too. <laughs> the Hobbit folk lived in peace in the quiet town of Hobbiton. Frodo Baggins lived unaware of the danger that surrounded the magic ring he inherited from his uncle Bilbo. They're actually cousins, but he calls him Uncle Bilbo. It was in the evening on a warm spring day when Gandalf the wizard paid Frodo an unexpected visit. He had returned to tell Frodo the story of the ring. Gandalf had a look of worry when he finally spoke. You must know the truth about your ring. This ring is the one spoken of in ancient elven verse. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. This is not an elven verse, by the way. It's black speech. Seven for the dwarf lords in their hells of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the dark lord on his dark throne. No wonder the Red Book of Westmarch is so long. There's only like one line on each page. In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them. One ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. You gotta be extra dramatic. And then the next page is blank. It's Bilbo's birthday party. So, at Bilbo's birthday party, there were 144 people present. The game has scaled that down to like five. Right, okay. My dear people, my dear Bagginses and Boffins, and my dear Tooks and Brandy Bucks and Grubs and Chubs, today is my 111th birthday. I'm 11 today. <laughs> Many happy returns. We like him because he gave us food and beer. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves as much as I am. I shall not keep you long. I have called you all together for a purpose. Indeed, for three purposes. 
First of all, to tell you that I'm immensely fond of you all, and that 111 years is too short a time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. Secondly, to celebrate my birthday, I should say our birthday, for it is of course also the birthday of my heir and nephew Frodo. He comes of age into his inheritance today. Frodo's 33. Thirdly, and finally, I wish to make an announcement. I regret to announce that, though I said 111 years is too short a time to spend among you, this is the end. I'm going. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Change the world. My final message. Hey, what's going on? There's no way they can see me. Hello, Gandalf. Hello, Frodo. The time has come for me to leave the Shire. I want to see the wild country one last time. In this game, the, the Shire is just this one town. <laughs> I agree that it is time for you to leave, Bilbo. It is also time for me to make a journey of my own. But before I go, Bilbo, you must promise me that you will leave your ring in the hands of young Frodo. I know, right? Bilbo the Cat's fantastic. <laughs> Chubs. It is very important that the ring makes its journey to Rivendell. Why would he be telling him this now? We're just skipping over the 17 year gap, right? Bilbo's too old to protect the ring for those that wish to possess it. It is up to you, Frodo. You must take the ring to the Council of Elrond in Rivendell. He already talking about the Council. They're just zooming through this, right? I think Peter Jackson just came, right? He's just somewhere in New Zealand, just, ah! It's a long journey to make. Will you be there to help me? I cannot join you now, but if you cross the River Brandywine, you'll find the town of Bree. No, you won't. I'll meet you there at the Prancing Pony Inn. You don't go... Brandywine River, you go across that, that's where Crick Hollow is. Yeah, but he's gonna be, um, Agent Smith. You would be best served to gain the help of some close friends. You will need much help on your quest to Rivendell. Good luck, Frodo Baggins. Guard the ring well on your journey. Remember, it is not to be used, or the servants of Sauron will find you for sure. And you can't use the ring. The game will not let you do that. Yep. They drowned in the Brandywine River. Boating accident. Hi, Bosh. I will miss you, Bilbo. I wish for I wish you well on your journeys. It is your journey that is important, my young nephew. There are many dangers that lie ahead for you. Now I must go. Before you leave Hobbiton, you should find your friends Sam, Mary, and Pippin. Pip, Mary's not in Hobbiton, but alright. They would be good company on your long trip. Wait, Bilbo, what about the ring? Funny, I almost forgot to give it to you. It is very hard to part with it. Here you go, Frodo. May it serve you well. Thank you, Bilbo. Goodbye. I'm gonna walk over in the direction of where all those people were. And that's the intro. <laughs> Alright. Look at this, um... So, basically, this game is based on the book, right? Because this is before the Peter Jackson movies, right? But they had some licensing from the animated movie, the Ralph Bakshi film of the 70s, right? But that drawing that they digitized for the title screen is not from the Bakshi film. That's a Hildebrandt picture, right? Yeah, I mean, The Hobbit let you use the ring. You... You can get a bad ending here if you cross the Brandywine Bridge. You're not supposed to do that. If you cross the Brandywine Bridge, the Nazgul will appear and immediately murder you. So, um, what I might do is make a save right there, cross it to show you guys that, and then, uh, reload, right? No, well, it's no, no, it's a, it's a Hildebrand painting, Vosh. The same drawing was used in the DOS game. Uh, I, I, I need to get past this. I don't know how I... Wait, how did I get here again? Which button starts the game? There we go. Yeah. But that was a painting by uh, the Hildebrand brothers. It appeared in a... There was a yearly calendar called the Tolkien Calendar. My parents had a whole bunch of them back in the day. And the Hildebrand brothers... Uh, they, they made a lot of those paintings. Alright, Hobbiton is really small, and pretty much the entire Shire is Hobbiton, so... Old Ga- Okay, so this is Hamfast. This is actually Sam's dad. Hello, Frodo. Sam was looking for you. I think he's nearby. Cool. I'm gonna make a lot of comments as a Tolkien scholar here. 
Well, you know, I feel like the game was very influenced by the first couple of East games where the last dungeon was half the game. And Moria is... Yeah, it's fucking huge. Wasn't there somebody over here? I swear I saw somebody walking around over here. Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Didn't I see, like, a, a hobbit in a blue cloak, like, somewhere around here? Oh, well. Whatever. Let's talk to her. This is a deal it took. Have you seen Pippin Took? He said he was going to the creek to the north to go fishing, but I haven't seen him for ages. I think this is Pippin's mother. Okay, so this is... Old Rory Brandybuck is actually... Let me read it first, because it might vanish. Here is some news from the east. A dark shadow of a man has been lurking by the bridge to the river Brandywine. He's looking for a young hobbit, and he means him great harm. Talking oh, about the, the Witch King. Um... The sword attack is actually not that bad. You just have to get used to the timing. You could stun lock enemies if you know the timing. Uh, Rory Brandybuck actually raised Frodo because Frodo's parents died when he was two years old, which is a baby by Hobbit standards, right? And Rory actually raised him. Yeah, so there's a this is the attack. And then there's this, which is like a parry. And that's to use an item that you have equipped and that shows the HUD. That's all the buttons there are. There, there's Sam. He won't join me yet, though. Gaffer sent me to find his lost reading glasses. I can't leave Hobbiton until I find them. If you will help me find them, I will go with you on your journey. Um. The uh. <laughs> no, the attack is delayed. It's just not. It's not that bad. It, it, it's pretty easy to get used to it. So Sam is interesting because he almost sounds like he's his dad's name is Gaffer. His dad's name is Hamfast. And Sam calls him his old gaffer. Let's talk to this guy. This is Milo. Milo is not a character from Lord of the Rings. I saw Pippin leave a while ago. I wouldn't go after him. There are wolves in the plains. You have to rescue Pippin. That's like the first thing you do. This is Rose. Rose is Sam's girlfriend, actually. And they wind up getting married at the end of the story. Mary Brandybuck has gone south to Crick Hollow. He won't be returning. But you might meet him there. So Frodo going to Crick Hollow is actually a huge part of the beginning of the book, not because he needs to pick up Mary. He does meet Mary um, right near the uh, ferry that goes to Crick Hollow. Hey, he tell me. But it was because he was he was moving there. He was pretending to move there so he could uh, get out of the Shire quickly. So Pippin's up here. You just have to kill all the wolves and then he'll join you. Sort of your combat tutorial. Let's see. Nope, did not time that correctly. Oh, we'll get it. N no, that doesn't happen. Saruman doesn't do anything of any kind of impropriety with Rose. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. You can stun lock enemies if you, you know the specific timing to do so. Oh, hello. I leveled up. It was Lubelia that got pushed down because she tried to come at she tried to come at him with an umbrella. The animations in this are really good, yeah. So. You only start with nine hit points, it's, it's rough. Alright. Oh, here we go. Got him. All right, that should be it. I'll just go up and talk to Pippin. He should join me. Oh yeah, the Bakshi film's fun. Bush. Thank you, Frodo. I feel much better now. I think I would like to join you on your quest. All right, so we have Pippin. So he kind of follows you, but like you could do is you hold the R button and control him, but then Frodo can't move. So. Basically, you're either controlling Frodo, or you hold R and you control every other party member. And once you get Aragorn, he becomes the first player, and Frodo becomes like... You can play this in multiplayer. But as you see, the CPU just kind of does its own thing. I'll show you that status screen in a second. How am I doing? Alright. Oh, that's not it. 
greatest adventure. Do you see the drawings are based off of the Bakshi film? So we got Frodo. And there's Pippin. So. And that's my. Uh, I could equip the ring, and then the game won't let me use it. I'll show you what happens if you try to use it. Gandalf told me never to use the ring. If I put it on, I am sure to fall, fail on my quest. I think it is best if I put it away for now. You could never use it. It's sort of like using a bike indoors in uh, in Pokemon. It's just, you suddenly hear whichever professor is in that game telling you to knock it the fuck off. Got him. All right. This is not the greatest game in the world. No, it's just a tribute. The only way to heal in this game is with finding and using items. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do like the first uh, dungeon, which is the Shire Caves. Um, because as you see, I'll just go talk to Sam again real quick. Say, so, yeah, we gotta find uh, Hamfast glasses, and for some reason they're in a cave. And once you find Hamfast glasses, uh, Sam will join us. Wait, I should. Where is Pippin going? Well. Did he just disappear? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yep. Find the guy with his glasses. Uh, wait. I should, I should talk to um, Pippin's mother and see if she says anything different. Hello, fellas. See, it's different now. Okay. Dude. Oh, this is Everard. This is the guy I saw earlier. He disappeared on me. I have heard that the roads are no longer safe to travel. Try not to encounter any strangers in your journeys. Everard's not important. I think he's like Pippin's like uncle or something like that. So this is sort of like the wilds of the Shire, and there's these caves that you can go in. They're all connected, and that's where the glasses are, as well as a bunch of other items. Rod Baker, not a character from Lord of the Rings. The evil forces of Mordor have been seen in these caves for the first time in a millennium. There's just some bats and snakes, so I don't know, they're not from Mordor. Uh, if you venture too far into these caves, you may find more than just bats and snakes. I believe there are like one or two goblins in there. Rod Baker sounds painful. Maybe, maybe his rod is really baked. I should make a save here. Uh, this game actually doesn't have saving, it has passwords, which I forget how to do that. How do you get the password again? No, it's it's not on the sub screen. There's like a way of doing it. Oh, it's it's uh, L and R together. Yeah. Fuck you. Level up. I think only the character that kills the enemy levels up. Let me see. See, so he's level two. He's level zero. Yeah. All right. Um. I'm not gonna get all fussed with keeping the non-essential characters alive. Basically, uh, Frodo and Aragorn have to make it to the end and everybody else can just die. Found a dagger. We don't need the old dagger now. So that seems like it was a waste, but what actually was, I had an old dagger and he just equipped it and got rid of his old dagger. I've gotten to the Balrog with all eight characters, but I couldn't beat the fucking guy. You know? Let me, is there any other um, item sitting around here? Let me see something real quick. For, uh... There's actually not a map of this place? Alright, whatever. All the caves are connected, so I'm just gonna go in here. You can kill the Balrog fast enough that Gandalf will survive. Which is weird, by the way. Shouldn't happen. But the even though he's present in the ending, walking the speedrunners do this all the time. If you ever see the speedrun, right? Um, even though he's seen walking with Frodo in the ending, Frodo still talks about how Gandalf died. I found a map. Map A, entrance one. Okay, so this is entrance one. How do I? Oh, I know. Uh, I think I have to equip the map to be able to look at it. Wait, no. Oh no! How do you look at maps? I forget how that works. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I know I know what it is. Okay, so 
all the maps were in the manual, and when you find a map in the game, it's telling you which map in the manual you should be looking at. Right, this should be a dead end. I'm just trying to verify where I actually am. Get him, Pitman. Oh, well, fuck. Fuck, really? Oh, Pippin got him. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is a dead end. Alright. God, can I make... Can I make... I can't make this bigger. Alright, let's just go. Yeah, the map... Yeah, the map just says... You look at... You look at... Open the manual, look at map A. And, and it tells you you're at entrance 1, so... The maps all... The, the game came with the maps. When'd you get Dumbledore? <laughs> hey, unfurled me. Dumbledore, um... I think he got, uh... Kicked out of the Order of Wizards. For, uh... Being a shit. I heard a bat. I heard two bats. Okay. Get him, Pippin! There we go. Alright. Comes another one. Oh, shit. Oh, I got him. Okay. Wait. I think we go down here? No. Hold on. Radagast after he got sober? Man, don't, don't disrespect Radagast by comparing him to Dumbledore. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm going to get killed. Got him. This map is so tiny. It's a snake. Got him. Alright. Got that bitch ass. Bitch ass motherfucker. Alright, padded armor. And they. Alright, gets rid of the cloak. Dark Souls here. <laughs> Dark Souls for the snap. It's not as good as Dark Souls, right? <laughs> Let me save it. I would love for this map that I'm looking at to be bigger. Well, that's about as big as I can get it, huh? Alright. Rings of Power was pretty awesome, to be honest. I don't understand the uh, controversy. Do I do I heal when I level up? I don't need to look at that. Alright, no, I don't heal when I level up. I, I remember that I can just do this to see Frodo's health, at least. Oh, I see him. Watch out, watch out. Mm. Jesus Christ, that guy got both of them. I have to find some healing stuff. Oh, I think that was, uh, yeah, Pippin just leveled. I don't really care if he survives it. Alright. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like fan fiction, but it's good fan fiction. That's not the entirety of the controversy. There's a little bit more to it than that, but that's a lot of it. Found some moss. Okay, cool. Damn it. Eventually, Pippin's going to get killed and I don't have to worry about him anymore. Yeah. I mean, yeah, part of it was absolutely people just being racist, but it, it wasn't the entirety of it. Uh, I think I'm going this way? Or am I tripping? That's the moss. Oh, no, 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 don't go this way. That's my bad. My bad, my bad. Don't go that way. I was looking at the wrong part of the map. I have managed, like I said, to get to the very end of this game without losing any characters. Um, even Legolas is fucking useless. Like, Legolas can't even attack. He doesn't have an attack animation. I think there's something over here. Yo. It definitely was a slow burn, but yeah, the controversy was stupid. I think the mushroom might be a healing item, I forget. Oh, I got heal- Oh, moss is healing? Shit, let me use that right now. I feel better. And I think it heals the whole party. Yeah, Frodo's healed, Pippin's healed. Alright, cool, cool. You don't want to over-level in this game, too. That would be really, really bad. 
Yeah, the shot was good. I mean, like, it's it's certainly not trying to be canon. Um, they actually can't make the Second Age story be canon because of the legal rights to it. But uh, it, it was good. I like I, I like the first season. The issue with over leveling. All right, let me explain this. Right. See, my strength is five. Right. Now your strength and your attack are kind of two different stats, right? Because your attack is your strength plus whatever. Well, no, actually, I think the strength. There's two. There's an invisible number, and that's like your base strength, which is based on your level. And then there's a second number. Right? That you don't see either, and that's the attack power of the current weapon. You add those two together, and we get five, right? So let's say, like, the dagger is three, and Frodo is two, you get five, right? However, if you go above 99, it, it only looks at the last two digits. So if you get a attack power of a strength of 100, it's zero. Right? So if you're too high of a level when you pick up the final weapons, you will become much, much weaker. Because this game is not programmed well. Okay. Oh, I don't. It's too dark to see the bat. I heard it, but I don't see it. I see that guy. Got him. Alright. Got him. You see, the sword might be slow, but its hitbox is a lot bigger than it looks. You saw that guy was, like, down there, and I struck him, and he died. So, yeah, the, the coding's really lazy. They didn't expect anybody to get that high of a level, so, you know. There should be something up here. I don't see it, but it might be... Alright, there's moss over there. That's what it is. Alright, cool. Ooh! Nailed Pippin. Oh god. Oh fuck hell. Is he gonna come back? Yeah, they never made a volume two. The DOS game was made by it was the same publisher but different developers and it was a completely different game, and they actually did get to make a volume two based on the two towers, but they didn't get to make a, a part three. Uh hold on, there's an item off this way. So if I go. Oh, that hit, that hit me. Damn it, Pippin. All right, we're good. All right, uh, up this way. These maps are not easy to follow. The Balrog could have been saved or converted, would they have been effectively become a new member of the Astari? Um, not necessarily, because the Astari were a specific culture of Maya. Um, they only sent five of them to Middle Earth, or were likely more. Melian was likely an Astari, for example, but um. They, they would have been Maya. They would have been like Ose or something, you know? Okay. Just keep going down. This music kind of always creeped me out as a kid. There's a bat to deal with. Got him. Alright. You want to swing the sword early, so... It was a snake. Snake! Oh, it's a goblin. Oh god, I'm facing the wrong way. Alright. <sighs> Fuck. Alright, I better heal. I'm trying to get away from him so I could, uh... Heal myself. There we go. Alright. Oh god. Got him, and I leveled. A gem! Okay, the gems, I forget what they actually do. I forget what the gems are for, but I found one. Green, oh! They're the keys to get out of the Shire. I have a healing mushroom as well, yeah. Those are the keys to get out of the Shire. You need a bunch of them. All right. Open 
open the gate. <laughs> I saw the guy, so let me get him a free. Got him. Right. Pippin, what the fuck? Dude, where'd he go? You saw that, right? There he is, what the fuck? <laughs> he just like, I'm going this way. Fool of a took. Alright, got him. By the way, everything I said about leveling doesn't really, and, and how you can't level too much, uh, it doesn't so much apply to Frodo. Because after a while, you don't play as Frodo anymore, you're playing as, uh, Aragorn. Oh, damn it. Once you, once you get Aragorn, you control him. Alright, where the hell am I? Should be... Okay, I keep going this way. I think I'm gonna go this way first. Got him. Yeah, they, they were working on it for a little bit, but this game didn't exactly light the world on fire, so it never happened. Watch out. Oh, Pippin, you could have swung at him. Got him. All right. Here's something. Another mushroom. Oh, okay, so if you have a healing item and you pick up a, a copy of the same item, you use it automatically. You'll notice that I still have the other mushroom. So you can't have more than one, so you'll just use it. Aragorn looks like John Redcorn. <laughs> he does, right? It's the John Redcorn experience. Goblin. I'm already killing goblins in two hits, so that's pretty dope. Alright, there's another mushroom that I didn't need. Oh yeah, what what uh what movie? Honor Majesty's Secret Service? Totally. One of my favorite Bond movies. Really? We both swung at it. Free heal, right? I'm excited about King of the Hill as well. Very cool. It's your favorite? I think Skyfall displaced it, but it's still up there, you know? All right, so we're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna go down. Got him. Alright. Gotta be mad careful, bro. You gotta be mad careful in this game. And the lighting is good. Like I said, the graphics are not bad. It's just, it's a lot of sameness. Like, once you get to Moria, that's like all you're looking at for the rest of the game. Because for Volume 1, it doesn't even go all the way through the first book. Really? What a fucker. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Shit. Right, we're going this way, to the right. Yeah, I like No Time Today. It was good. All right, oh, I didn't see that one. Oh, damn, really? You gonna do me like that? Do me so far, do me? Got him. Okay, down. There's a big wide open area here. Fuck, man. I'm doing all right on health. All right. Uh, it says there's something... I think it's on the other side of this pit. Didn't they play the Honor Majesty Secret Service theme at one point? 
You know, and he even said we have all the time in the world. I was like, oh, references. Yeah, it's over here. Dude, I don't know where Pippin is. Oh, boy. Come on, what you got? Hmm. Damn, really? All right, there's the there's Sam's dad's glasses, Hamfast glasses. I'm not done here. There's like still plenty of th oh here he is. There's still plenty of shit to find. Yeah, Daniel Craig was a really good James Bond. Uh, I think I need to be above this. There's supposed to be a way to like you press if you tap the R button. It's supposed to make the uh, the other players all gather around you. It doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. See, he just it's just mash the the button. Sometimes they get a mine of their own and they just like they they just go off. Like there should be something over here. Yep, something. Another mushroom that I don't need. All right, doing a lot better. What level is Pippin? He's got to be like level two, right? He's level one. All right. Like I said, I'm not I'm not concerned with the other characters. Yeah, bow, 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 bow that. Oh, not there. Don't go there. Believe it or not, we've only explored about half of these caves, and it's confusing because there's so many entrances. But that's why you you get that item that tells you, you know, look look at this particular map. Of course, if you're um if you're renting it or you're just buying it used or whatever, and you don't have the manual. You're just fucked. Get him, Pip. Oh, shit. I don't think he's coming back. Bats usually take two passes at you, and then they fuck off. Damn. Oh, just bodied. Oh, shit. Really? Come on. Hmm. Just bodied. Greatest adventure. <laughs> of course, my favorite song from the cartoon movies is Where There's a Whip, There Is a Way. <laughs> Where There's a Whip. From Rankin Bass's uh, Return of the King. We don't want to go to war today, but the Lord of the Lashes says, Nay, nay, nay. For we're the slaves in the Dark Lord's War. Huh. Where there's a whip. Ooh. There's a way. Pippin got him. Nice. A fern. That's another healing item. There's a way. <laughs> it's a good song. Alright. Yeah, we found some pipe weed. <laughs> Two of them, really? All right. Damn it, Pippin! You could have taken a swing at him. Now there's a third one. Okay. Ah. Terrible. Okay. Let's keep going this way. Hey, Apple. How's it going? Oh God. Caught between a rock and a hard place. Pippin. There we go. All right, Pippin got him. Imagine if they did all this shit in the movies, right? Like, <laughs> like first we have to find Hamfast glasses. Let's spend like an hour going through this cave. That's right outside of Hobbiton. Oh, there's a snake over there. Okay. I think I do want to go down. It looks like there's an item down here. Hey, Alice. And hey, uh, anal anus. Damn. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? I'm playing Lord of the Rings, so you guys don't have to. Here he comes. Get him, Pippin. All right. Ooh, he got him. All right. Oh, okay. This is another entrance? Map A entrance four? Oh, that is it. That is marked as an entrance. My bad. All right. Well, I'm not leaving. There's still more items to get. I want to get, like, all the items and stuff. So. Like I said, you don't want to go too high of a level in this, but that only really applies to Aragorn. And you don't want to underlevel either, because the goblins the controls later on will kick your ass. Yeah, soundtrack's good. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not a great game, but I said, 
I learned a valuable lesson buying this game. Just don't buy a game just because you like the license. Hmm. What I could have done is left and then gotten Sam and coming back, but that's okay. Alright, come on, what you got? I think Pippin just leveled. Got him, okay. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, oh. Right, that'll heal us. Yeah. It was a, it was an important lesson. And I wasn't like all into like buying license game, but it was just, it was just Lord of the Rings, you know? Do you think of a game where despite its flaws the license carried you through? Uh, probably like the the Green Lantern game on on Xbox and PS3. Those it wasn't like a bad game, but it was a pretty average game. This is a uh, Super Nintendo, Sarah. Oh god, yeah, Simpsons Hit and Run did become like really really hard. It actually says there's an item. Is it moss over here? It looks like there's moss. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I got plenty of health. I thought for sure Pippin would have died by now, but I'm actually doing really good. Get that snake. Ah. God damn, really? Wow, I don't know how I got that guy, but... I have no idea how I got that dude. God damn, god damn, put some bacon in the pan. God damn, god damn. Let's get some breakfast. Buzzing on the pan, Nah, man. Get back here. I feel like I... No, no, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. <laughs> Jesse's like, bacon? Mm. I heard another one. I don't know where it is, though. Bro, gotcha. Oh, it's um, my friend Captain Retro. Whenever I raid him, he he has this like, he has this like rap song that's his intro, and that's part of the refrain. It's, it's really funny. It's like it's a bit of an earworm. Like I'll be walking around the house like. God damn, god damn, put some bacon in the pan. God damn, god damn, put some bacon in the pan. Got him, alright. It's not like the only lyrics, but it's like the main refrain. Uh, alright, well fuck that guy. Alright, that just upgraded Pippin's weapon. I don't think there's anything over Oh, there is something over here, shit. Padded armor. Okay, so now Pippin's armor is upgraded. <laughs> yeah, he had this this British rapper dude do his intro, and then uh, he's got a he's got a long version and a short version. I like raiding him. He's a lot of fun. One of my favorite streamers. He actually raided me not too long ago, uh, last week, last Thursday. Um, because I had gone extra long. He doesn't raid me that often because, you know, our schedules doesn't line up that way, but it was, it was very nice of him. Yeah, explicit link, Rick's parental discretion is advised. Okay, so I'm showing you a trick. You see how I'm making them both swing their sword at the same time? So this is the way, I'm gonna show you guys a trick in this game. So if you press... The attack button that makes Frodo do it, right? If you hold R and do attack, Pippin swings, right? But if you press attack and then R real fast, they'll both attack at the same time. That's the trick that I've been using, if anybody's curious about the technicalities of this game. And I had to learn all these technicalities because this game is impossibly hard.
It's kind of like planking in Street Fighter uh, 4. No, I never beat this. I got to the very end, the very last boss, and I couldn't do it. So, we're going to try and beat this on stream now. Which I'm imagining is probably going to be next week, because this is not a, a very long game. Level up. Let's see. So level-wise, let's see. Okay, so he's level 7, and he's level 2. Alright. Oh my god. You can just be like, I don't want to hear, I don't care. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, look, I'll tip you, but shut the fuck up, right? This is incorrect. Actually, you know what? Um, nah, uh, I don't care. I'm going to go this way. I still got more, more to look at. Yeah, it is kind of a priority link in a way. Donkey Kong? Hmm. I want to say... I forget what year Donkey Kong Country was. This was 94. You didn't want anything to happen here. Oh, okay, understandable. Uh, we're going down. Oh god. I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright. Oh, I don't need it though. Yeah, I should have gotten Sam, that way I could have upgraded him, but it's, it's not that big of a deal. You can always bring Sam, but you get better stuff later, you know? It is true, nobody... Nobody's really gotten killed because of astrology. I mean, they might have, it's just not... Not anywhere near the high amounts. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That is an excellent counterpoint, though. Yay, <laughs> day ruined. Thanks. Thanks, I hate it. Got him. All right. Here we go. All right, that'll heal us. Yeah, right? Damn. I didn't know that. That's, uh... That's something or up. What if Mercury is in retrograde and you're on Mercury? Well, if you're on Mercury, you're already, like, dead, right? <laughs> you're dead. Just instantly dead. You see, yeah, the stuff that you pick up that you don't use, it will come back if you leave it and you come back, so... Alright, so I'm gonna go kinda like this way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's the new Atari plug and play console. <laughs> Part of the story is this? Don't you remember in Lord of the Rings when Frodo and Pippin went into a cave looking for Sam's dad's reading glasses? It's a fetch quest, is you know. It doesn't follow the story that closely. I thought there was something here. I thought it Oh, there it is. Alright, it's moss. Okay. Alright, that's an entrance. Let me just look at the lower part of this cave. There's like a few more things to look at. And then we'll get out of here. I want to go this way. Alright. Right down from here is an exit. But we don't want to quite go there. Don't you remember in Lord of the Rings when Sam couldn't go because his dad couldn't find his glasses and they were in a cave filled with like bats and snakes and a couple of goblins? That's a weapon that I don't need. Actually, does wait, does Pippin need that? Oh. No, he doesn't. He has a dagger. Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, oh my god, yeah. When people use... 
their sign, their astrology. Astrology can be fun, right? It can be fun as a novelty. But when people like they they act like shit lords and they're just like, well, I'm a Taurus, so it's like that doesn't excuse it, you know. Like, And that's entrance two. There's only one more item in the whole thing, and I think it's just a healing item, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. We'll go recruit Sam. Everybody joins you at level zero, so... You know. Oh! Immediate wolves! Oh, I get them in one shot now. At least Frodo does. Now oh, Pippin as well. Oh, shit. Mm. Pippin, what the fuck are you doing? Whatever, man. Pippin's doing a stupid right now. I can close that map. I don't think you bring the glasses to the gaff right, or to Hamfast. I think you bring them to Sam. But I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to Hamfast anyway. There is some... Oh, this is, that's Rory. It's the same sprite. That's the thing. Oh, this is Wheeze. I missed him earlier. Wheeze. This is not a character from Lord of the Rings. Uh, legends say the caves around Hobbiton may have hidden treasure. It is said there may even be a power book that will give you great knowledge. I didn't find a power book. Wait, could it be that one, the one item that I didn't get was a, the power book? Here he is. Hello, Frodo. Sam is looking for you. Uh, yeah. Wait, do I have the glasses? I think you actually just have to bring them to Sam. That was Martin Sheen? Wait, was that Martin Sheen? I didn't realize it was him. I thought he was very good, but I didn't realize it was him. Thank you, Frodo. Let's go give those these to Gaffer. He'll be very pleased. All right, now we can do it. So, because it because it's like the movie, the the Bakshi film. Sam looks like that. So, Sam's the gonk. I don't know why the Ralph Bakshi film made Sam look like that. Pippin's off doing something. I don't know. Thank you for finding my glasses. For your reward, here's the key to the Hobbiton Gate. Alright, so now we can leave. But first, I didn't find that book. Let me see something real quick. Magic Fern, Gateway Gem, Dagger, Armor, Glasses, Healing. Yeah, there's no book. There's no book of power in the Shire Caves. Maybe they mean the, um, the Trollshaw or something, right? All right, we can get the hell out of here. We can leave, leave Hobbiton. There we are. I think we need a key to open this door. Dude, your dad just gave me the key. I have to equip it. This part, though, is accurate to the book that it was just these three that left. Mary was later. Wizards is a cool move, yeah. Oh, I have to... There we go. The door is open. Let's go. All right, hold on a second. Do I have a map of this area? Let's see. Crossroads? Yeah, I think this just brings you to Bree. I don't know. Oh, wait. This is the Brandywine Bridge, right? Hold on. Let me save it. I'm going to show you what happens when you go over the bridge. I don't think we should cross the bridge. Watch what happens when you do That's why I saved it. This is the only thing. You get to see the Nazgul. And there's a song that only plays here. I told you we shouldn't have crossed the bridge. Here comes the, the Nazgul. You could fight them, but it's, you're not going to last very long. So, yeah, you just die. I had to show you guys that. You failed your quest and allowed the ring to fall into the hands of Sauron. Now you must gather your courage and try again. That gives you your password. Um, that doesn't reset anything, though. I, I don't think I need to reload my save. 
Yeah, my level's in it. Actually, I'm also now at full health, so that actually kind of worked out. <laughs> that kind of worked out. But wait, do I not have a map of, like, just the, the overworld? I got Moria. I got Bree, Rivendell. Uh, Barrow down. I don't think I have an overworld map. Which is kind of shitty. I thought I would. Martin Sheen. I've seen that movie. Let me see if I can find overworld maps, because this is going to be a very confusing game. Oh my god, I'm getting, like, actual maps of, like... Yeah, I'm not... Look. I'm getting, like, actual maps of, like, uh... Middle Earth. It's not what I'm looking for. Okay, here we go. The Shire. Okay. Alright, I have maps of the Shire. But, uh, but I've officially left the Shire. Hobbits and Caves. Green Hill Country. That's what I'm looking for. The thing is, I don't think it... um. There's nothing labeled on here, but let's make sure we explore everything. Alright, let's play. Pixelate the shit out of it. I have some cool maps, but they're of Valerian. Who's this guy? Tom Lipper, not a Lord of the Rings character. I have seen the evil forces of Mordor. The danger is near. Go south to the ferry to cross the river. Hurry before it's too late. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I'm working on. I'm working on it. just want to make sure that I look at everything, because... Wait, I can't move. Ah! There I am. I had no... I, I've watched that movie a few times, and I had no idea that was Martin Sheen. Dude, where's Pippin? Pippin's wildin'. It's a mushroom that I don't need. Pippin, you wildin'. Yeah, unfortunately, the items are not marked on this map, but... Once again, where the fuck is Pippin? There he is. Pippin just, like, does whatever the fuck he wants to, right? Like, he don't care. He's like, man, I'm not the one with the goddamn ring. There's a snake. Oh, there was a snake that I couldn't see. Frodo. Yeah, we got him. Okay. He's had one too many pints, yeah. He got drunk at the Green Dragon. Uh, okay. See, the thing is, Pippin is freaking dumb. And he gets stuck on things. I'm supposed to go south, though. I think we just... Yeah, okay. Let's go this way. All right, here we go. I see a snake. I see another snake. Yeah, sometimes they're really good at following you, and sometimes not so much. I feel like we're about to reenact that, the way everybody's walking. We're about to reenact that scene from Clockwork Orange. Where Frodo just beats the shit out of the other two, right? Sad snakes. No wonder we're killing them. I found a letter. It reads, Dear Farmer Maggot, The forest to the west of your for farm is full of wolves. I have found that the best way to avoid them is to stay near the edge of the forest. Why, why did they just... Somebody write that letter and just leave it there, right? and just killing wolves. Alright. I think what I need to do is... I'm actually not sure. I think I might want to be more on this side of the screen. Jesus. Gotta love how the trees are in the way. 
I gotta find the ferryman, but I don't think he's around here. Yeah. That is true. Although I think people in Dark Souls, they're, they're either trolling each other. Oh, here we are. Or they're trying to, like, fuck with each other, right? This should be the, the fairy. By the way, in the book, Mary would have been right here. But they changed it slightly. You have to get past the river first, and then Mary's there. I'm sorry, but I can't take you across the river. Farmer Maggot has warned me against ferrying strangers. I think I gotta find Farmer Maggot, actually. Defeat the boss, do more damage. Yeah, pro tip. Shoot the cyber demon until it dies. Oh, wow. Sam's not strong enough to kill him in one shot yet. There we go. Amazing chest ahead. And it's boobs. I Is this the same thing? Yeah, okay. I think I just gotta go find Farmer Mag. I think he's over here. Uh, this is a really big area. Alright. I found a mushroom. And that heals everybody. Kill it until it's dead. Yeah. Sam, where are you? There he is. Okay. Yeah. So we need to get, like, Farmer Maggot to vouch for us. Oh, come on, Sam. Sam, the MVP. It's his real name. He was a somewhat important character in the beginning of the story. Frodo was really afraid of him. Because when Frodo was a kid, he would steal he would sneak into the dude's fields and steal his mushrooms. And uh, Farmer Maggot had these like giant dogs. And uh, where's Sam? There he is. And he told the dogs if you see this kid again, you could eat him. But he was bluffing, he wasn't. But Frodo, like, was still thinking, oh my god, this guy, I'm gonna get eaten by dogs if I go there. But, uh... Farmer Maggot was a good dude, though. Jesus Christ, Pippin. Oh, here we are, here we are, here we are. Wow! Huge dogs! Oh, right. Oh, I, I forgot there's goblins here. Sam's gonna get himself killed. All right, we got her. Oh, I needed that. Um, yeah, he, yeah, Frodo said that he whooped his ass. That's true. Neil Bongs, what? God, help me! The forces of Mordor are upon us. I already helped you. Thank you. You saved me and my farm. Because you helped me, I will help you. Give this note to the ferryman. He will take you across the river Brandywine. So in the book, what happened is um, they were running from the Nazgul, and Farmer Maggot took them in, he fed them, and then he actually drove them to the ferryman. Like, he got them in his cart with his, like, ponies and shit, and he drove them there, and there was this mysterious cloaked figure that was coming at them out of the mist, and Farmer Maggot was all like, come at me, I'll kick your ass. But it was just Mary. I'll whip your ass with a dog. I will beat a motherfucker with a motherfucker. You will also need an ore. The ferryman has lost his. If you can find my jug of honey that my treacherous hobbit Ted Sandyman has hidden, I will loan you mine. Ted Sandyman is a character from the Lord of the Rings. He was just an asshole in a bar that talked shit at Sam. Alright, so I gotta find the jar of honey. I have no idea where it is. But I think it might be somewhere on this screen. It's probably around the perimeter on this screen. So I'll just, uh, Pippin, where are you going? Oh, Pippin's like, I'm gonna kill this fucking wolf, right? There we go. All right. You killed the wolf, Pippin. He won't come back. Oh, it's definitely Lord of the Fetch quests, yeah. Yo, yo, Pippin ain't listening. He's a high enough level that I'm not too worried about him, but... I just don't like when they're off... See, he's getting hit. He's off screen and he's getting hit. Oh. 
Sam with his starter weapon. I can hear Pippin actually fighting, but... I don't know where he is. Hopefully he's not going to get killed. That's a mushroom. Well, I just healed everybody, so... Ted Sandyman sounds like a local newscaster. Oh, hey, Pippin. Glad of you to join us. Whoa, hello. Pippin's like a Pokemon too high a level and he stops listening. That's funny. I think he's only level two. Let me see. Oh, he's level three now. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Hopefully I can find this honey. I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna go around the whole, like, perimeter. It might be in the previous screen, though. So, unfortunately, my overworld maps do not show the items. My dungeon maps show the items, but not the... At least the game is pretty, right? The sprites aren't amazing, but they, they have some, some good animation. I don't think it's on the screen at all, unless it's in the middle. Which it could be, but I, usually items are not, like, in the middle. Oh, Sam coming up on him. <laughs> Sam's just like, nah, fam. You go near Mi Master Frodo, you know, catch the gat. Yeah, it's, it's got decent graphics. The music's good, even though there's not that many songs. It's just, like I said, it's just kind of a disappointment. There's a lot of better action RPGs to play. I think it might be on the previous screen, the, uh... But I remember every every character in this they like, oh I'll help you, but first, and it's like some fuck shit. I think I might know where the honey is. Oh let me let me let me look it up though, just to make sure. The jar of honey. You wanna have a walk beside the withy window? Who wouldn't, right? Actually, I don't think you can find the... Now that I think of it, I think you have to find Ted Sandyman. Oh, this is that same letter, right? I think... I think you have to find Ted Sandyman first. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what happened. Because I believe there's like a whole other thing that he wants you to do, and you know... Unfortunately, nothing's labeled on these maps. Is this the letter again, or is this something else? It's the same letter. Makes the book even longer. Yep. Frodo has a zip gun. I think that might be Ted Sandy, man. Get back here, dude. It's your fucking problem. If you find my bottle of Shire juice, I will tell you where I hid Maggot's jug. See what I'm talking about? Now I gotta find Shire Juice? I think I know where the Shire Juice is, but let me just check. Oh, apparently it, I missed it already. Alright, let me go grab it. Who knows what the fuck Shire Juice is? You know it's, it's like some kind of moonshine, right? It's like some crazy alcohol made by hobbits, right? And it's probably like 180 proof, right? I believe I know where the Shire Juice is. I think it's over in this direction. 
Sam, your level zero ass needs to be following me a little closer, all right? Weed-infused moonshine? Oh my god, I think you die. Old Toby shine? There you go. I think it's in this direction. Or maybe not. I don't see it. Let me just look here real quick. Now let's see if it's up on this hill. I'm pretty sure it's on this screen somewhere, because I think I could have gotten it before I even talked to him. The halfling, sh the halfling shine has clearly slowed your mind. There's the Shire Juice. Alright. You know it's gotta be some kind of fucked up drink, right? Like, Gandalf would take a swig and he'd be like, It's a wonderful drink, just don't ask the harvests how they make it. There are certain things one does not need to know. Horse tranquilizer, but it's booze. That makes sense. All right. All right. Let's go find Ted. Bring him his stupid drink. Plus estrogen. That's how I've got the biggest titties in all of Arnor. Oh, I think I have to actually have it equipped. Hold on. Bottle. Well, I guess the bottle is the Shire juice, right? Gandalf has the biggest titties in the Shire. I love Shire juice. I dropped the jug in the woods right outside Maggot's farm, and I was set upon by a very large pack of wolves. All right. So now the honey should actually be there. The hell is this? Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, I should have gone down. I'm too far up. Okay. Meet Rod, get the money, see? Meet Rod, get the honeys, G. Living in my car. No, it's driving in my car. Living like a star. I saw my fingers and my toes and I'm a Taurus. Hmm. Check, check it. Yeah. <laughs> Hobbits all love mushrooms. And I think they're disgusting mushrooms. Yeah. Pippin, I need you to actually... There we go. Alright, alright, all right. So somewhere right in the middle is going to be where the honey is. Yeah, everything I've heard about magic mushrooms is they're really not a good high. Like, you will think you've discovered the secrets of the universe, but you're really just drooling on yourself and clawing at your face. Oh, damn, Sam, really? Oh, damn, Sam, really? Sam doesn't have, like, a whole lot of health, so I gotta... Not that I care, but... I guess I do kind of care. He's only got six health right now. Sam, where are you? Sam needs to level up at least once, like, or he's gonna get killed. Uh, where did they put the honey? I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's Sam. Somebody leveled up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I need. I was gonna use him. Not sure. Damn it, Sammy. Samuel! I'm controlling him directly right now. There we go. I don't know where it is, but this is a rather large bit of war. Oh, there it is. That's gotta be it. Jug of honey. Alright. That's another thing is when there's a lot of characters on the screen. Ugh. This game slows down to a crawl. And there's eight characters in the party, so, you know, have a good time, right? It's like that that drug from that movie Dread. 
I believe you can just get a free heal here if you already have a mushroom, if you leave and come back. Let's see. Yeah. And that'll heal you. Hello, fellas. Oh, I have to actually equip the honey. Oh, there's two, two there anyway. All right. The jug of honey has two X's. This is not honey, this is mead, right? Thank you, here is the ore. I, I borrowed his ore because I was whooping some ass with it, right? Nazgul came on my farm asking about a Baggins. I told him, get the hell out of here, there's no Baggins in these parts. And they were like, where is Baggins? And then I whooped their ass with an ore. Oh. Mmm. Ride the taste, huh? One way or another. <sighs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, this game so wants to be East. <laughs> it's not. So what level is Sam? He should be like level one at least, right? He's still level zero. How are you still level zero, dude? You've killed a few wolves. Dag, bro. I'm sorry, but I can't. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. First, I gotta give him the letter. He wants to be Lagoon. Oh dear. This note says you are friends of Farmer Maggot. Any friend of his is a friend of mine. I will take you across, but I need my ore first. Thankfully, I already have it. Oh, ore. Oh, you have an ore too. Just step on the ferry and you'll be across the Brandywine swiftly. Like I said earlier, in the book there was no ferryman. Mary took them across. But I think you get Mary as soon as you go across. This should be Krikala. We're in Buckland now. It was a bit more overworld first? Really? Hold on a second. Let's see. Green Hill Country. Yeah, I don't see... Hold on, maybe this is Buckland and... Well, I know it's Buckland, is it? Oh, no, there's just more... There's just more to it. This couldn't be Chetwood, right? No, Chetwood's later on. It's not the old forest, because you get married before the old forest, right? Oh no, this is old forest. Shit. Really? I thought that was after you get married. Oh, you know what it is? They put Crick Hollow in the middle of the old forest, which is ridiculous, because they're not even near each other, but okay. <laughs> Word around the office is you've got a fat ore. I've got a fat ore, too. Maybe one day we'll, uh, row our boats together. You and me. Two fat ores. Some water. Oh, it's just... I was freaking out, like, what is that? It's just Pippin. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright. The weakest goblins are going down in one here. I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have I want Sam to fight it. He doesn't want to go near Sam. I think Pippin actually got credit for that. God damn. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Dude, where's Sam? Wait, who is this elf? Is that Gildor? It is Gildor! This guy never winds up in any adaptations. Gildor and Glorian. You left the Shire without finding both gateway gems. Go back and find them, and I will tell you more. Oh, I missed one. Oh, yeah, he's there to tell you that you missed a gem. See, that's the problem with, like, uh, the overworld maps not having... 
the items on them. As I'll miss them, you know? Good thing Gildor was there. So Gildor is actually a relative... He's of the House of Finrod, which, um, if that means nothing to you, he's related to Galadriel. Um, and he's an elf that um, these three ran into pretty early on. Not in the Old Forest, but pretty early on after they left the Shire. Or actually, they were, they were still traveling through the Shire because they were going to uh, Krakala. Gotta find some game rolls. Yeah. All right. Let me let me look up where these gems are. Let me see if I can find a, an overworld map that actually has. Right. The items on it. That would be great. Let's see. Wait. Maybe Gamefax has maps. Let me check. Give me a second here. That would be pretty great, right? Here's the game. Guides. It's only got maps of Moria. Fair enough. I just want an overworld map that actually has where the gems and stuff are. Right, I'll just look it up where they are. Because there's two of them. Because you need you need all of them. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's in Hobbiton, really? The fern that I got, I got to give to somebody in Hobbiton. Hold up, really? I don't remember that part. Yeah, I do have that magic fern. All right, I, I got to go all the way back to Hobbiton. That's not too bad, I guess. Good thing I didn't get too far before discovering that. Come on, guys. <laughs> back to Hobbiton because I didn't get a gem. Imagine if Frodo got, like, you know, like, all the way like to Brandywine Forest and then had to turn back because he didn't get a gem from some asshole in the Shire. That'd be pretty wild, right? I don't know what Sam's doing. I don't know who needs the, the fern, though. It just says you give the fern to somebody and they give you the second gem. And the third one is apparently somewhere in Brandywine Forest, so... Damn snakes. Snakes, punch them. I don't know, I was just talking about that earlier, Gray, and I felt like, well, this is not a great game. It's it's more average than bad. And I feel like it wouldn't get the AVGN treatment, you know? Like, it's not bad enough to be on AVGN. Oh, damn, really? Frodo getting his ass kicked. Yep. Somebody just leveled up. Got him. Okay. I have no idea where either of my companions are right now. Wait, who this? Oh, it's Tom. Okay. Tom Lipper. What a terrible name, Tom Lipper. Sounds like a sex act. Alright, who needs the magic fern? Yeah, it's lewd, right? Let me speed this up a little bit. Alright. Alright, Rory. Not Rory. Certainly not Everard or whatever the hell. This is Wheeze, right? Not Wheeze. Certainly not Hamfast. Not Everard. Not Rose. Okay. 
Not Milo. It does sound gross. Maybe it was... Um, hold on, let me read this again. Oh wait, it's it's an extra cave? Hold on. There's an extra cave, cave G. That has a guy that's looking for the fern. Okay, I could I could handle that. It's not in Hobbiton. E Damn it, Everard. If you weren't related to Pippin, I'd kick your ass right here and now. All right, that cave there, right, right by the guy. Well, they want to Skyrim the Hogwarts. This guy. Hold on, there's bats here though. Oh, let me uh, make sure that I equip that fern. I will trade you this gem I found if you give me the fern you found. Thank you for the fern. This gem has a magical aura about it. Be wary. Alright, we got that. It's a good thing Gildor was there to tell me that, right? Imagine if I got all the way to where you need the gems, which is, I think, in Rivendell, and then you don't have them, and you have to go all the way back. But okay, hold on, because this, this site low-key just gave me a map that was way better. And it, it's weird, because it gave me a really good map of that, but not of the Brandywine uh, Forest. Like, I have a map of Brandywine Forest, but it's not like a good map. It doesn't show items. So let me just look ahead and see where the next gem is so that I don't miss it. Alright, the next one is the violet one. Wait, no. That's... never mind. Okay, we have violet and green. Purple is the next one. It's in the Brandywine Forest. Oh, Gildor just hands it to you. Sweet. Okay. Super Gem Hunter 2 Turbo. That's super turbo bullshit. Do you remember when Gildor was, was talking about, you know, like how he's going back to Valinor... And then he, he gave a gem to Frodo. <laughs> that didn't happen, right? The, the Valinor part did, but yeah. Gildor is one of the Lord of the Rings characters that has never made it into any adaptation at all. Kind of like um, Glorfindel and Tom Bombadil. Like, Glorfindel got replaced twice in the Ralph Bakshi film. They straight up made him Legolas, which makes no sense. And then in Peter Jackson's film, they, uh... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Apple. Yeah, they gave his part to Arwen, which I didn't mind that so much because it gave Arwen more screen time, considering she's actually an important character. That's kind of cool. But, yeah, I would like to see Glorfindel actually make it into an adaptation at some point. And Tom Bombadil never wound up in any adaptation. He just, they just, nobody gives a fuck about him. He's in this game, though. Oh. There's a few games that Tom has made it in. Your wife loves Arwen. Who doesn't love Arwen? She's like one of the coolest characters. She's, she's like, what if Luffy, what if Luthien, but again? Have you or your wife ever read the, the novel Baron and Luthien? I'm a bit greatest romances ever told, and it was told by, Tom, by, by Tolkien. There's a full heal. 
Actually, not a full heal. Damn, I must have been really messed up if I found a mushroom and I only got 40 health at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What a great story. I mean, the story is in The Silmarillion, but it's like so abbreviated that like those extra novels really help flesh things out. Amazon has the rights to do that, right? They chose to tell a story about the Second Age, which is fine, but they have the rights to Lord of the Rings. Yeah, those novels, I mean, like, they, they just all bangers. Like, Children of Huron is amazing. Baron and Luthien is amazing. Fall of Gondolin, amazing. They're just, they're just bangers. All right, so Gildor just gives you the next gem. The gems are really, there's items you can miss and then there's items you can't miss and the gem, no, you can't miss the gems. Haha, <laughs> they're good movies. Oh, really? Got him. All right. You know what's amazing is that um, the casting wasn't always perfect, but they did, a, for the most part, a good job. But one of the most amazing bits of casting was Liv Tyler as Arwen, because if you look at any of the older art, where people drew Arwen. And it's like, they, yeah, Luf Tyler looks exactly like that. I'd like Sam to kill a goblin, so maybe he'll level up. Uh, doesn't matter that much, but... Frodo just leveled up again. This is the Frodo story, right? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, alright. He killed a wolf. Children of Huron is such a fucking good story. The elves of the forest know your quest and want very much for you to safely make it to Rivendell. I will give you this gem, which is very similar to the two you have already found. It is called a gateway gem. Legend says there are five of these gems, used by a wizard. They can move mountains. Do all you can to find them all. Alright, Apple. I'll see you later. Ooh, enchiladas. I haven't made enchiladas in a bit, though. Alright, let me just... See where the next gem is. The next one's not till the barrow downs. Okay. Thanks, Gildor. You're the best. Gildor and Glorian of the House of Finrod. Oh, here's Mary. I've been waiting for you, Frodo. I have a letter from Gandalf. It says, Frodo, go east through the barrow downs to the town of Bree. I will meet you there. Okay, first of all... Wow, that's fucked up. First of all, Gandalf did write a letter to Frodo, but he did not leave it with Mary. He left it with Barloman in Bree, and Barloman was supposed to mail it, and he never did. And he gave it to Frodo when uh, they came through Bree. Uh, yeah, and the letter just told him about who, who Strider was. That's all it was. Just, like, make sure the dude says his real name is Aragorn, and he has a broken sword, and you'll know it's the real guy. I forgot to tell you, there's a group of elves making camp just south of here. They have may have information that is helpful. All right, well we got Mary. This hey, is Mary. He's level zero because everybody starts off at level zero. He's an elf. Don't they all have bows. <laughs> this is Tam Far. That's not even an elven name. There is a gateway gem hidden in the Barrow Downs, but be careful, all the treasures of the Barrow Downs are guarded by evil spirits called Barrow Whites. Barrow Whites actually one of the easiest enemies in the game. Who hated Children of Huron? I never heard of anybody not liking it. Creelian Trester. They could have they could have opened this book up and found like four million elven names to use. And they came up with instead they came up with shit like Creelian Trester. There are six elven amulets that have been lost to the ages. Elrond has decreed that you were to find them to prove you're worthy of carrying the ring. That's so not a thing. Come here, brown guy. This is uh, Saranthris Lurie, not an elven name. Stay close to your party members in the fog. Barrow Whites are known for capturing young hobbits. Green Randar, also not remotely an elven name. Sauron's evil ring wraiths are following you now. They will watch you, your every move. Well, we already saw them. That's the only part in the game you actually see them. If you're approached by one, you should run. 
or past the point where you would see them. And Ulm Twen? That sounds like a goblin name. When searching the caves and tombs of the Barrow Downs, stay near the fire pits. The bright light can hurt the Barrow Whites. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you remember when Frodo was in Crick Hollow and there were like five elves with weird names? Am I, am I fully healed now? Sure, I could have pressed the X. Almost. Wow. Children of Human is like so not dull. So, the opposite of that, actually. Okay, so this should be Old Forest that we're coming up on. Alright. I'm just gonna keep going left. Or right, rather. I've never heard that. Wait. Oh, yep. You could do it, Mary. Ugh. Block. Attack. Block. Attack. Block. Attack. Oh! Damn it, Mary, stop turning around. Oh, well, Mary's dead. There's actually a way to get party members back. With, by fucking with the passwords. Like I said, I'm not... Alright, let's see if Sam does better. Oh! All right. You could hack the passwords to bring the party members back, but I don't see the point of it. They don't—they don't do much, Ooh. other than get in the way and slow the game down. Damn, that's gonna suck. Now the Witch King is gonna kill Aowen in the third game that <laughs> never happened. Because Mary had to be there. The fact that they don't give you any way of um, reviving characters other than password cracking is wild. I'll, I'll wait till I'm on the next screen to try it out, though. Alright, hold up. Oh, shit. Asshole. Alright, hold on. Oh, that's not the button to press. Okay, let me let me get a let me get a text file real quick, quick notepad. Okay, so let's see, B dot T dot 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 L L K W F K W all dots on the second row. F dot K dot B N dot T dot W K five and then the inventory code dot 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 f f b f dot r dot. Okay, cool. There's a way to do. I want to see if this actually works. Cause I read about it. Let's see. What? Why are you giving me information about Final Fantasy three? There's a specific part of the password that is how many party members are alive. Alright, hold on. Oh my god, this is like reading stereo and stride. Never mind, uh, Pippin's dead. Yep, I did know that. I know that that never happened because they kept getting into ridiculous arguments. It's probably better to just do the, like, Frodo and Strider run, right? Every other character can just go fuck themselves, I guess. 
I don't know, I like- I want Sam to survive because he's my favorite. Alright, Sam leveled up. How's everybody's health doing other than, you know, the fact that Mary's dead? Wow, he has four health left. He's a mushroom. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. It's kind of interesting. But like I said, it's like... They got into a lot of arguments. Not that they didn't like each other, but they just argued a lot. Damn it. Did you know that? Did you guys know that Treebeard, the character Treebeard, is based off of um, C.S. Lewis? C.S. Lewis was just like fucking loud and overbearing, and stomped around when he walked. You know. Here we are. Oh, this goblin looking to start some shit with Sam. I can't see him, though. It's true, right? Okay, hold on. Um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think I just got to keep going. Goblin got right up in Sam's grill, right? Get that guy. Sam, you can kill that snake. Oh, no, nope, Sam's dead. Like I said, it's better to just do the Frodo Strider run. Trying to keep everybody alive is what I did when I was a kid, and it, it doesn't lead to anything good. The game slows down to a dull crawl. You have eight characters on the screen? Oh god, it's terrible. Having every character join you at level zero is obscenely stupid. Like, why would Gimli join you at level zero, right? Like, shouldn't he already, like, know a few tricks? Well, it started with me and Pippin, and that's what it is now. I think this is the screen where Pippin's gonna get eaten by a tree. I'll actually eat everybody but Frodo. But since I just have Pippin, that's what we're doing. Uh, I think up? Yeah, you gotta grab that. Watch this. You could avoid this, but check it out. It's fun. I found a letter. It reads, Come here, little hobbits. I have a surprise for you. And Pippin just goes up and... Womp. Ah ha ha! Hobbits taste good! So, yeah. Uh, Pippin got eaten. And I'll show you what you do. Just go up this way. Rip. Yep, rip a Rooney. We got eight. It's a bit of a trek, but this is how you... If your party members all get eaten by the tree... You're trying to keep everybody alive especially. Yeah, get eight, fool, right? Nope, nope, nope. It is what happened. Um, that he grabbed uh, Mary Pippin and Sam. and Pippin especially was, like, completely enveloped. So they really make you go out of your way to do this, though. This part's completely optional. If you avoid that bag, it never happens. And we go up here. This is where Tom Bombadil is. You just gotta talk to him. Hello, friend. I am protector of these woods. If you have any trouble here, let me know. And I will help you. How come he's not helping me? Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadillo. Hello? Maybe I have to leave and come back. Tom Bombadil is a merry old fellow. His cloak is blue and his boots are yellow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, let's see if he reacts now. Ah. 
All right. Shouldn't he come with me? Hold on. Oh, wait, you know what? I know what it is. I, I know what it is. Hold on. I was going to look into it, and then I just remembered. Yeah, that note was actually an item. You got to show it to him. Old Man Willow is eating my friends. Can you help me? That Old Man Willow is nothing but trouble. He always bothers passes, passers-by. Go back to your friends, and I will help you. Okay, here we go. Dum bum ba -de -loo. Wait, I think it was this way, actually. That'll at least get Pippin out of there. He won't cough up the other two. <laughs> like I said, I said I wasn't going to make a big deal out of the other characters dying, and I'm, I'm really not. Because that... I think that's what made it too difficult, right? When I was playing it back in the day. I was trying to keep all the characters alive. Like, why would I keep Legolas alive? He doesn't actually do anything. He does not have an attack animation. There he is. So it's weird that he plays the flute because he should sing, but whatever. Hang on, little hobbits. I'll get you out. Yeah, there we are. Thank you for helping us, Tom. And that's that. They're making an I Am Legend 2? Why? That was already like the third version of that book turned into a movie. All right, Barrow Downs. Let me get a map of that. Let me get a better map. Wait, hold on. What? What? What even was that map? Oh my god, this is... It's like stereo instructions. Do I have a better map than that? Let's see. Crossroads, Bree... Barrow Downs. There's a lot of maps to look at. Like, is it explicitly... A sequel to the like the the movie with um, Will Smith, or are they just doing another? Like, I'm, I'm trying to understand this. Is that making sense to me? All right, well, let's go in here. This is a pretty big part of it, so. That's so weird. Oh, to the alternative ending? The alternative ending was the good version. Alright, so we we reached the Barrow Downs. I found a key! God, that's weird. Who knows why they would do such a thing, right? Maybe they'll re-release the first one, like the good version. Those are barrel whites. Leather armor. Alright, that's an upgrade. I forgot how cool the barrel towns look in this. I don't know what Pippin's doing, but... Whatever he's doing, he's doing it, right? So the Hobbits never actually explored the Barrow Downs like this. They got captured by Barrow Whites, and the Barrow Whites drew them into the cave, and then uh, Frodo sings, Tom Bombadil rescues them, he gives them a bunch of swords, and that's the money. You have four pieces of gold. All right. There are places in the game where you can buy things, so that helps. Level up. I'm 
move this map over. Okay. That's a terrible idea, though. Like, making I Am Legend 2, but based off of, like, the ending that wasn't in the theatrical cut. Alright, Pippin got him. Pippin fucking got him, bro. Yeah. There's a few places where basically you could just upgrade your weapons or armor for a certain amount of money. So, money is not completely useless in this. But it's weird the way that the inventory handles it. Like, it only tells you the exact amount of money you have when you pick up money. Like, it says gold piece, and then over here... No, it's not. Like, it, it just shows gold piece, right? So, it's like, I don't know what the fuck that's about. Alright, I'm gonna go up here. Mushroom. Sweet. I needed one of those. I'll head this way until there's an exit. Oh, these fucking bats. to this dude. Ho oh, just hobbit! The snakes or the barrow downs are poisonous. If you get bitten, the only thing that can help you is the magical moss found in some of the caves. Good to know. So now there's like worse versions of the snakes. Alright, let me read this. Alright, so we gotta go to B8? I think? That was confusing, but I'll get there. It's a very the Barrow Downs is a very big area, so I'm just trying to make sure that I don't miss anything. Oh, I see where I am. Okay. Here we are. So after this, let's see. Yeah. All right, we exit from B10, which is all the way down there, but there's a few items and stuff to get along the way. Not many, but there are. There's yeah, something there. The mushrooms, that's a heal. Frodo at least is at full health. Exit pursued by Warg. Indeed. Moss here. I think I have it, but I'm not sure. There we go. Son of a bitch bastard won't. Whatever. Let's go up here. There's some gold. We now have five pieces of gold. Ah, ah. Uh, ooh, watch out. Oh, that hit me? Really? You just gonna be a hoe like that? Alright. Some serious hoe shit. Yeah, we're big balling with our five pieces of gold. Never mind that Frodo's actually rich. Right? 
Never mind that Frodo actually has a hell of money. Hella bread and 17 cents, you know? That's just what his bank account says. It says hella bread and 17 cents. Alright. Should be something off in this direction. So I'm just trying to get all the items. Make sure I don't miss anything. Hey. It's a mushroom. I'm at full health. There's no the only going into the sub menu is the only way to see your party member's health though. Which is how Sam and Mary got killed. I didn't know how low their health was. I love the drums, though. Get over in this direction. There's a couple of things to get. Added armor, which I don't need. It'd be great if I had more party members. Some moss. It'd be great if I had party members that needed it, but you know, whatever. <laughs> There's no Phoenix Downs in Tolkien's universe. You never heard of such a thing, right? Yeah, I got him. All right. Oh. When you hear that, that's them actually dying. Money. Now I have 12 pieces of gold. It's so random how much money you actually get when you pick it up. It's wild. Imagine it was just Frodo and Pippin in all three movies. No Sam. Yeah, no Sam, no Mary. Hey, Mo hey, Moogle, what's going on? There's a weird glitch that happens, and it actually doesn't only happen in Streamlabs. I notice it happening on Twitch as well. And it kind of locks up the scrolling. Uh, and I always have to deal with this. I, it's nothing you're doing, Moogle. I'm sure you're not doing anything wrong. But I noticed it happen on my channel. He when I'm viewing the chat on Twitch, or when I'm viewing the chat on uh, Streamlabs, or, and it happens on other people's channels, is that whenever Moogle first comes into a chat and says something, the scrolling stops, and I have to like click it to make it scroll more. It's like, whatever, whenever like Moogle says his first thing, it decides that part of it is off the screen, so to speak. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't make any sense. Wait, I think I just go this way. Is that what it is? Your, the microwave that you have that just dis it, it disrupts Twitch and the chat API? Moogle's too powerful? That sounds about right. But how's it going, Moogle? It's just so weird because I noticed it happening on my end and then I saw it happen in a raid because like we were all talking and then Moogle said something and it it was half scrolled off the screen. I'm like, why does that only happen when Moogle talks and only the first time he says something? So weird, right? Okay. And there's our first amulet. So if we look at our inventory, we can see the lost amulet. All right. All right, now what? Let me just read this real quick. It says return to field B. Wait, return to field B in what? Hold on, let me read the next part. Find B11 and use the key. Okay, cool. B11. I know what they're talking about. All right, so we got to go back through that cave. Uh, it's not Mogul. I, mean, I played Lagoon, for example. That's not a JRPG. Unless you just mean... You don't mean JRPG, you mean Japanese game, right? Like a RPG that's Japanese. Because this was made by Interplay. Uh, 
But technically speaking, any action RPG is not a JRPG. There are two different styles of game. And, like, strategy RPG is also their own thing. So, Bahamut Lagoon, not really a JRPG. But I think you mean it in the sense of Japanese RPG, an RPG that is Japanese. Oh, I didn't get my, like, plank. There we go. Uh, hold on. I gotta move the map. Yeah, we gotta go up here. Okay. It's a lot faster to get through, and I'm not stopping to get all items, you know. <laughs> I'm surprised Pippin has survived this long. I really am. What do they call JRPGs in Japan? I don't know. I feel like Katomi might be able to answer that, though, right? I really don't know. Uh, that's not it. Keep going. There's like a locked one that we're gonna go in. You can't fool us. That's a Japanese word that means pervert. Alright. I, I used to get people with that all the time, though. There we go. Tomb key. Alright. The door is open. Let's go. Okay, so this is B11 on the map, which takes me there. But let me just see what it, what my goal is after going through here. All right, we're just getting to B12 and whatever items are along the way. Oh, there's a Tommy. Hey, wait, what? It, like the? Like, yeah, what do you call JRPGs in Japan, right? guy's still alive. It did do the... Not that Barrel Whites are ever alive. Get an item by going down here. Oh, there's an item right there. How that... That's not marked on the map. Oh, it's a letter. I found a letter. It reads, Barrel Whites that can stray from their tombs are much stronger than the others. So, when you run into them and you're not at a tomb, they're just higher level without being a pallet swap. Goblins start getting stronger when they are pallet swapped. They still like disappear in one hit, it just takes more hits to kill them permanently. Got him. Okay. Just RPGs but depend. Yeah. I mean to like to us the JRPG is not specifically made by Japanese developers, but it's like a, an RPG in the style of, like, Dragon Quest, where there's command-based fighting and a heavy emphasis on story. Alright, it's a fern. We had another fern. We gave, gave it to that dude in the cave near Hobbiton, so... Okay, I'll just move this over so I can see. Get him, Pippin. I would imagine, and Hitom, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, but that JRPGs there were just RPGs, and that like something like Skyrim would be called like Western RPG, you know? There's another item off in the lower right of this area. Pippin's doing something. He's got some important business in the other direction. Come on, Frodo, move it. Can we get over there? Uh, a mushroom! That's a heal. Okay. You know. But like basically RPG is the genre and then there's like different styles and you get JRPG, action RPG, CRPG, strategy RPG, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we call them CRPGs, which is like computer style RPG, like the old Grognard shit, like Ultima and funny JRPGs are based off of Ultima, but like the stuff that becomes more like Skyrim and whatnot, you know. The 
sound those barrel whites make, man, that's crazy. Leather armor. Okay, so that's an upgrade. That's cool. Get the fuck out of here. It's like an elephant farting. Almost out of this cave. Let's keep going left until we see the exit. Oh! Bastard. He did a whole one health to me. Oh, Pippin just leveled up. Here it is. So this is in an area with lots of entrances and exits. Let me just read what the next step is. We're going to go to B13 for another key. Okay. So B13 is just up and to the left. Yeah, there's goblins who want to fight me, but they're not going to. Do I not have a map of this place? This is considered not worthy of mapping, or am I just not seeing it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, no, there's a map. There's a few items to get. Nothing up there, though. Clouds look like a shitty strobe effect. Money! Four dollars! We now have 17 pieces of gold. They look weirdly dithered like it's a Sega Genesis thing, right? Four dollars! We now have 24 pieces of gold. There's another key. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Maybe it's because I'm not stressing out about keeping everybody alive. But, I mean, once you're playing as Aragorn, you have to keep Frodo alive. That's like the one big thing, but Frodo's got like a pretty hefty level lead here, you know? But um, as long as you keep both Aragorn and Frodo alive, you're good to go, right? But uh, it, it is just, maybe it's just because of that, but like this game is not as bad as I remember it being. Also having better maps. All right, so we got the key. Now we're going to go to the right to field D. All right, let me see what the hell they're talking about. Oh, I see. Okay. You know what? They're like spotlights. Kind of, right? Like shitty spotlights. It's not really supposed to be clouds. It's like fog, but it's not very good fog. Got his goblin ass. I taught him a lesson. It's not okay to be a goblin. Oh. Oh, damn, really? Me, just me. Alright. So this is field D. Which is less foggy. Alright, what am I doing here? Um... We gotta go to B19. I'll have to find the map though. Unfortunately, I'm not. Oh, I see it now. Okay. Alright, it's actually really not far away. I gotta. Oh, wrong button. Gotta equip the uh, key though. Door is open. Let's go.
Oh, damn, really? Beat his ass. Alright, so let's... Well, before I look for the map, let me read what the goal is. We're gonna... We're gonna exit B28. Alright. But I gotta find where I am right now. I'm at B19. Okay, I see it. It wants to be an optic illusion, but it gave up halfway through. That sounds about right. The Barrow Downs are basically big burial mounds and men that died a long time ago. The Whites are sort of like... Some people believe that the Whites, the Barrow Whites, are like the ghosts of goblins. Which may be the case. The spirits of evil goblins bound to the bones of men. It's a cool idea, right? An optical delusion? Oh my god. You guys. Alright, here's the key. So we're going to B28. Is that what I said? B28? I believe that it's what I'm looking at. Just want to make sure. Yes, okay. Just make sure that we don't miss any items along the way. Which there's there's a few. But yeah, but getting Frodo leveled a whole bunch at the beginning is good because that way he's less likely to die when you're playing as Aragorn. Because if Frodo dies, it's game over. Even if you're playing and if Aragorn dies, it's game over. You need both of them. Every other character, fucking optional. There's a mushroom. Okay, cool. You ain't poisoning me. Expendable hobbits. Three expendable hobbits, an expendable dwarf, and an extremely expendable elf. Legolas is completely fucking useless. He can't attack, ever. He doesn't even have an attacking animation. <laughs> I used to think I was doing something wrong that Legolas never attacked. Even if you force control of him, you can't attack. He's just... Yeah, it's just the way the game is. B-17 Balmer. Yeah, I really don't want to get hit by these snakes because you get poisoned. Got him, okay. Four dollars! That's 29 pieces of gold. The expendable Middle-Earth edition, yeah. It's like the War of Wrath, everybody dies. <laughs> It's Dagor Dagoroth. Alright, you need the key to get through this. Okay, without googling it. Who knows, who here knows what Dagor Dagoroth is? Let's see if anybody knows what it is. Alright, we gotta go left, but first we go this way because there's an item. Really? There we go. Does anybody know... Dagor Dagoroth is. Mushrooms! Mushrooms make you feel good. Do, 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 do. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Another tomb nearby where we can get some more items. I keep going left. Good job, Pippin. Four dollars, and that's thirty six pieces of gold. Nobody knows Dagor Diggoroth? It means Battle of Battles. It's basically an idea that Tolkien had pretty early on that he dropped after a while. But it was basically uh, like one part Revelation and one part Ragnarok, the story of the end of the world. 
Four dollars, and that's 41 pieces of gold. You answered? Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, Middle Earth version of Ragnarok. Okay, so you actually, yeah, you got it. It's sort of, like I said, it's a little bit of Ragnarok, and and the um, it, it was it was supposed to be a prophecy that was going to appear at the end of the Silmarillion. It didn't wind up being in there because it wasn't really fleshed out. But um, all the heroes and all the villains would all come back into one final battle. Um, Turin winds up killing Morgoth, you know, that kind of thing. All right, um, I see the exit, but is there anything else? Yeah, okay, go past the exit first, because there's an item. It might be money. What do you mean out loud? I mean, like, Alice actually put the answer in the chat. I just missed it. It'd be funny if you answered out loud, like, yeah, it's uh, Ragnarok. <laughs> I just, you missed it too, obviously. I missed it, you missed it. They're not dead. Pippin, you can, thank you. Four dollars, somebody leveled up. And I got 44. That was actually Frodo leveling up, very good. I was looking, but I somehow missed it. That's worse, right? Like, you weren't looking, you didn't need to be looking. <laughs> I was looking and I missed it. Okay, so let's see where we are going now. All right, as far as B28 is, I know exactly where I am, but where do I gotta go? Let's see. Uh, all right. We're gonna go to B31, which is at the very top of this place. That's to get another key. Fredo, move. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Go. Oh, I thought there was a path there, but there was not. What's up, Pippin? And Frodo's cold in this game. He, he let his best friend and valet die. And he let his cousin die. And his other cousin's still hanging in there, but... Really, Pippin? Pippin's like, no, I'll get him, I swear. Alright, got it. Here we are. Frodo's blue period. <laughs> He's a, I will only let you live because you have a blue cloak like mine. There's a key. Dragon Quest Builder needs to fix up the building. Yo, that game is fun so far. Like, I'm having a blast with it. All right, what's what's next? After you get that key. All right, B30, we get the key. Now we're gonna go to field D. Then we're gonna go through field D to field G. Huh, really? I don't see where there's a field G. I see a way to go to F. <laughs> we all know what F stands for. All right, oh, that's D. Wait, hold on, let me read this again. What does it say? You get the key, make your way back to field D. D's nuts. All right, so that's E. D is that one. All right, so basically I have to go back to B28, right? And then back to B19, and that's where I need, that's the field D. All right, cool. It's a little bit of backtracking. Nothing I can't handle. Oof. What do you think guys is gonna be longer, my playthrough of this or the entire trilogy extended edition? Keeping in mind that this ends at the end of Moria. Durin's Bane is the actual, like, last boss. I'm trying to get in the hole! <laughs> Been there, right? 
You think the movies will be longer? We'll have to... Once the, once the stream's done, right? Like, once I finish this, look at how long gameplay was. And compare it to the uh, nearly 12-hour extended edition. Let me see which one's longer. You hope so. Yeah. It's not a terribly long game. It's just I've never actually beaten it. And, you know, it's a lot of fetch quests. And some of the dungeons, like this one here, this Barrow, with the Barrow Downs is very long. Of this crack, I think. Rather not mix it up with the snakes if I can. 11 hours, 22 minutes. It's a... It's a fun time though, right? I think this is healing. Since it's, yeah, since it's still there. Straight down will get me out of here. Dead. Really? Mushrooms? Punch them. I agree. Mushrooms ain't shit. Okay, so now I'm at field D. But it wants me to go to field G. Which is the lower right corner of this screen. That will bring me to field G. I'm understanding how this map works a little better now. Look at all the caves we don't have to go in. What am I doing out in field G? Uh, oh, we gotta go to field I. Well, where is field G on this map so I can figure that out? There's G. I is the upper right. Okay. There it is. Okay, I've reached field I. And we're gonna go to field K. Alright, so where's field I? Uh, field K is really just down and to the left, I think. Really? Wait, wait. Am I looking at- I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I? Wait. Yeah, I am confused. This is field I, and I'm going to field K. Wait, what? The map doesn't match exactly. It, it... Let me read this again. Okay. Make your way back to field D, head to field G, go down to find field H. I did all that. Alright, J. Alright, hold on. I, 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 I think I skipped ahead here. So from G, you go to H. Yeah, I should be at H. But where am I actually? Yeah, I think I I think I took a wrong turn. Let me go back here. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. Okay, so now I'm on field G. I need to go to H, not I. That's down. Go south, young man. God damn Uruks. There were no Uruks. 
in the Barrow Downs, by the way. Then again, there were no Uruks in the Shire either, so, you know. Okay, yeah, I, I misread it. Okay, so we've reached H. Okay, so at H, let's see. We're gonna go to B36. I gotta find my map of H, though. Here it is. B36 is south of here. Got him. Yo, what are my levels right now? I'm really curious about that. Frodo's level 10, Pippin's level 6. That's not bad. Keep going, keep going. There it is. Alright, I gotta get that key. It's a, it's a slightly different key than the other keys that I was using. The door is open. Let's go. Alright, so that's B36. Where am I going from there? Let's see. Oh, we're not supposed... Okay, we, we open it, but then we don't go in? What? Why would we do that? It says open it, but don't go in? Instead, go to B35. Well, I guess we'll have to come back there. What is the point of that? Maybe it'll make sense after a while. So B35 is up and to the right. Maybe because like you get a second key and you can't carry two of the same key. That's my best guess. I don't know. Here we are. All right, I see where I am and I see a couple of items, but let me just make sure that I'm doing the right thing now. B35. Get the key and then go back. Okay, that's what it is. So you can have a key while you're in there. There's also there's a there's a couple of things to grab in here. Oh. All right. I'll give you another guy. Lord of the Rings trivia question. See if anybody knows. Which of the four hobbits killed the most orcs? Let's see who knows. Correct, Sam killed the most orcs. Alright, we got chain armor. That's an upgrade for Frodo at least. Yeah. Sam stormed a tower in Mordor and killed 80 orcs. <laughs> Uh, the lowest orc kill count with a kill count of zero. <laughs> Sam killed 50 orcs. Is Frodo. Frodo really wasn't out there killing a whole lot. Grab some moss here. Not that I really need it, but there we go. We'll auto use it. And here's the key is over here. Um, Frodo didn't do a whole lot of fighting. Like he, he stabbed the troll in the foot. He tried to attack the Witch King. All right, we got another key. All right, so what am I doing with this key? Yeah, Frodo was more of a pacifist. He was willing to fight, but he didn't really want to kill anybody. Okay, now we go back to the other one, to B36. But what, let me read ahead what I'm due there. We go to B37. Okay, so we go through B B36 to B37. Did I lose track of where I was? Where's my... Uh... Oh, dear. B36... There's a weapon in that cave, too, if I go past where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. 
Yeah, Frodo was like tired of all the. He he wanted to let Saruman and Grima go. And then Saruman lunged at him with a knife and tried to stab him. And, you know, I couldn't do shit because Frodo's armor was, like, really good. And then he was like, even after that, I would prefer to let them go because he didn't actually hurt me. And I'm tired of summon so many people dying. Uh, but then Grima killed Saruman and a bunch of hobbits shot Grima to death, so. Frodo wasn't happy about it, but, you know, it do be like that. I mean, he didn't even kill Gollum. Oh, you know, the movie kind of made it look like he kind of did kill Gollum. He didn't in the book. Okay. So just keep going right. There's an empty tomb and then the exit. But if we go past the exit, there's a, there's a weapon. Which, it'll probably be at Barrow Dagger, right? Right now I'm using regular dagger. Yeah. The Rankin Bass one is wild. As if you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, you'll enjoy it. Oh, shit. If you've never heard of Lord of the Rings and you're just watching it, it makes no sense whatsoever. Like the plot just zips around. Yep, Barrow Dagger. The Barrow Daggers in the book were actually given to the Hobbits by Tom Bombadil. After he rescues them from this place, he finds four Barrow Daggers and gives it to them. And they were really important because Mary used one to kill... Well, not to kill the Witch King, but he stabbed the Witch King in the leg in Return of the King. And uh, it got rid of all of his like enchantments and shit, and that's why Eowyn was able to kill the Witch King. All right, I don't need to read where I'm going because there's only one way to go from here, straight on to J. Which is over this way. So this takes us to field J. Ralph Bakshi made Lord of the Rings and it was all of, her, all of Fellowship and about half of Two Towers. And he wanted to call it Lord of the Rings part one, but they weren't willing to greenlight a second movie, so that's why it's just called Lord of the Rings. And then uh, Rankin Bass did Return of the King, but they just did the book The Return of the King, so the second half of Two Towers was never like a cartoon for whatever reason. All right, so what am I doing? I'm in J. There's a gem. And then we got to go back to G. All right, but we came here to get the gem, so... You know, where's J? I don't even see it on here. H, I, oh, there's J. Yeah, there's also a weapon, which I guess will probably be a barrow dagger for Pippin. Fuck out of here. Oh. Barrow daggers. So if you think about it, like for Mary Pippin and Sam, the barrow dagger would be like their strongest weapon if they were going by the book and Frodo would get sting. It's not quite the way it works. All right, we got a gem. So is that that's one of the gateway gems, right? Yep, the yellow gateway gem. Uh, so there's only one more gem. Let me just search to where it is so I know when to look out for it. Oh, hold on. Gateway gem. The next one is the red gateway gem. And it looks like it's actually in the Barrow Down still. So I'll I'll find it before I get out of here, I guess. Okay, so I gotta go all the way back to G, which is a pain in the butt, but right now I'm in J. It's a pain in the butt, but we'll do it. I'll try to get through the Barrow Downs before the end of stream. Like that's where I'll end is like you know. Mm. 
Okay, so this takes me to H. And then I'm going to have to go through this. Wait, no, is it H? Where is H? Can't find it. I see G, but I don't see H. There it is, H. Okay. So going through here. Come on, Frodo. I can't quite get it in. That's why you were never married, Frodo. All right, so from here, we're just going this way, I think. Yeah. Lord of the Fetch Quests, indeed. You just saw that, huh, Vosh? It really is Lord of the Fetch Quests. Just logged in. You were here earlier, weren't you? Okay. Wait, so where am I going all the way back to? Is it G? Because that's what's nearby. Yeah, G. So G is nearby. Uh, we just gotta go to the upper left. That happens a lot where, like, most of the way through a stream, somebody who's been here will just see the stream title. Stream titles are not as visible as they really should be, to be honest. Alright. Alright, so this brings us back to field G. As in G's. Alright, so what are we doing here in G? We're gonna go to I and then K. Alright, I can handle that. So I is upper right. Yep, I'm in the Barrow Downs. Sounds are amazing. Okay. Okay, so this brings us to I. And then from I, we're going to K, right? Yeah, which is up and to the left. Up and to the left. Up and to the left. The snakes are the only really dangerous area in the Barrow Downs because they can poison you. Other than that, it's pretty easy shit to be honest, combat wise. Okay, we have reached K. And we're gonna go to B41. Let me find K. And hold on. I gotta find K, I can't find it. There's M, there's L. H, I, J. You figure they'd be in some sort of order. You'd, you'd figure wrong. I see R, I see A, here's K, all right. All right. So it's basically the one right to the left here. They did not. They lied about there being any rotoscaping in the game. There was rotoscaping in the movie, right? They based it off of the movie, the, the Ralph Bakshi film. But there's no actual ro I mean, look at this. That is not rotoscoped. <laughs> I've seen games use rotoscoping before, and it's really cool when it happens, like Flashback or Nosferatu or those kind of games, right? But out of this world, that's a game that has rotoscoping in it. But not this one. They lied. That's what you describe is what rotoscoping is. Wait, I missed it somehow. Should be right here. Is it? There it is. How'd I miss that? If 
Prince of Persia was rotoscoped, yeah. Oh, wrong. Okay. How the fuck? That's completely wrong. How did I wind up... Oh, I'm way too far south. That's why. Some of them are really good. Not all of them, though, but... But yeah, when they use live-action actors and then animate over the footage, that's what rotoscoping is. It's a little bit different from digitizing. Oh, there it is. That's where I need to go. Okay, so there's an item and a key to grab here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thought he was going to hit me for sure. Not that it matters. Level up. Out of this world. Well, the, the thing about those, specific, like, out of this world and that kind of thing, it's usually some kind of one-hit death scenario where you're, like, trial and erroring it, you know? It's all about memorizing everything. Four dollars! That's fifty-one gold. All right. Four dollars! I brought earlier that spaghetti I made. That shit was dope, by the way. Just I figured I'll let you guys know the spaghetti was awesome. I took mine with a garlic butter sauce with chives that I made instead of putting the red sauce on it. I only put the red sauce on my meatballs because too much tomato fucks me up. But I can tell you the red sauce tasted amazing because I did taste it as I was cooking it. Alright, there's another key. So then what am I doing after grabbing this? So we're going to go to M. Okay. Take this to M. Which means we have to get out of here. I played a lot of Prince of Persia. Back in the day. The DOS version. But yeah. When they, when they use footage of people and then animate over it, that's rotoscoping. When they use models to make the sprites, that's called um, pre-render graphics. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm like, why did that guy die? I forget that the fire pits actually hurt them. And when they just take footage of people and turn it into sprites, it's called digitizing. All right, so I just have to go to the upper left to go to M, which means, I, unfortunately, I got to go to the right and get around this. Pippin, you're facing the wrong way. There we go. It actually plays really well with just two characters. <laughs> Trying to navigate it with so many other characters is a pain in the ass. Alright, so this is field M. Let's see what we need to do here. We're going to go to B56 and then out to B57. All right, let me find M. That's O. There's M. All right, B56 is, it's actually my only choice, it's this one right here. I believe it's this one. Nope, not that one. There we go. Door is open. Let's go. So we're getting to B57, which is to the left. If we go past the entrance, there's an item. Or past the exit, I should say. Damn. Asshole. There's not a lot of nuance to the combat. It is what it is. Alright, that's where we need to go, but there's also something to the left here. 
I don't know where Pippin is, but it's not that big of a deal. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Found him. Shrooms. Almost healed Frodo, and I'm sure Pippin's doing fine, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah. So normally I'd end about now, but I want to at least get through Bower Downs, because I don't want to be, like, confused when I pick it up next week. Alright, so we're... Let's see. Okay. Did that, did that, did that. So we're going to go to field O and then P to get an amulet. We're going to be OP, so to speak. So O is upper left. Because you do need all those fucking amulets too, you know? And then to get to P, it's upper left is gone. Oh, no, okay. Really? No. Oh. just occurred to me that I have no idea what the next game after this is going to be. We'll have to talk about that at some point. Alright, P is pretty small area where there's an amulet to get. Right down in here. I found an amulet! Alright, let's see what's next. Uh, all right, and then we're gonna go to Q to get another gem. That's I think, I think the last gem. Now Q is pretty much right across from here. I think you were thinking what? Wait a minute, you were thinking? So what do you think? I'm joking, but what were you thinking of? This is Q. The last of our gems that we need is here. Star Ocean is a plan for a series stream, but I mean, what is the next Thursday game after this we haven't talked about? I don't think I've chosen a game, so I'll have to figure that out. All right, there's the gem. That's all of the gems, thankfully. We don't have to worry about it. No gems after this. All right, so we're going to go all the way back to K. That sounds fun. All right. Uh, I'm at Q. This will take me back to O. Wait, what did I say I was going back to? J? I think I said J. But let me see. We got to backtrack is what I'm saying. Oh no, no, K. We gotta go back to K. Like, Tommy Lee Jones, K. Alright, so this is... This is a goblin. Alright, well, Pippin got him before I get my hand on the controller. This is O. I'm gonna go down to, I guess... Is that H? No, it's M, rather. I'm gonna go down to M. Gotta go to Tommy Lee Jones. That's where we're going. Alright, so M. If I could find it, that would be great. There's N. There's L. 
Where is it? There it is, M. Okay. Now this, we gotta go through that cave though, right? Treasure Hunter G? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'll go over the list after we're done with this and we'll figure it out. Or maybe before stream next week or something. We'll figure it out. Alright, we go through here. Straight to the right and out. And then we'll pretty much be right there at K. I can't believe I figured this out as a kid with just the shitty maps that came with the game. Or very little of it was actually labeled and it certainly didn't show you where the items were. And then we just head to the right and we're in K. But what are we doing here? We're gonna go to L, okay. Gotta find K, there's K. L is to the right and slightly down. Is Treasure Hunter G like another strategy RPG or? I think it is. I'm gonna be honest. Like after a J, like a after a strategy RPG, like Treasure of the Root, no Treasure of the Root, um, Bahamut Lagoon, and then like a weird game like this, I might need like another straight up JRPG, you know? Okay, so this is L. What are we doing here? We're almost done, I think. We're gonna go to B51, and. get a key. Alright. And then head to N. Alright, so B there's a lot of caves here, so I gotta get the right one. B51 is almost all the way to the end. Because there's a whole bunch of them. That's, that's 45. That's 46. That one's 47. Rock Lobster in D B52. I got it. I but it's B-51. I'll show you where B-52 is. Oh, it's actually not on the screen. Never mind. Alright, this is it. B-51. Close enough, right? Uh, hold on a second. So one item to get, and we'll grab the key. Close enough, right? I actually can't stand the B-52s, and it has nothing to do with Rock Lobster. It's just Love Shack. It's like the worst fucking song ever. Four dollars! That gives us 54 pieces of gold. I love that emote. I love that subs can now use follower emotes on other streams. Right? Like, anybody who follows can use follower emotes here, but I love that subs have that extra ab ab ability, you know? What is that? Oh, it's Dale. A key! And then we're going to head to field N, which if we get out of here is not far from here. I'd love to show you B-52 if I come across it. I'll show you where it is. You can see where which cave the rock lobster is. <laughs> get my ass kicked by bats. Beavis, if you behave in this fashion again, I'm afraid I'm going to have to kick your ass. But it wasn't a rock, it was a rock lobster. That was Frodo leveling up. From what I understand, that uh, that song, Rock Lobster, is actually difficult to play on the guitar. 
don't know how true that is, but I've heard that. All right, so if we go down here, this will bring us to field N, which stands for no. <laughs> All right, let me see. What are we doing in field N? Let me read this. Um, we're going to go to B55 and then out to B62. All right, where's field N so I can... Oh, by the way, that cave right there, that one right there, that's B52. That's where the love shack is. You have to fight the rock lobster to get to the love shack. We're going to do that. We're going to... Whatever I said we were going to, I don't remember what I said now. 55. B55. Bingo. I hate Love Shack. It's like... The one reason I can never get into them is like, I, like, I hate that fucking song. It's like the worst song ever. The only song that I probably like have such a visceral reaction to more so than that would be um, Shiny Happy People, which has a member of the B-52s in it as well. There's some connection there, you know what I'm saying? That's B-54. I need 55. There it is. I need... It's locked, though, so I gotta bust out one of my keys. I'm not sure which key is the right one, so we'll just try this one. The door is open. Let's go. All right, so this is B-55. There's only one exit from here, which is B-62, but there's a couple of items to grab. Helps to face the right way, Frodo. I'm actually gonna go this way. They got a lot of bangers, but so like, what is like like other than like Rock Lobster? Like, what what are, what are the good songs by the B-52s, right? Rome. Is that like a deep cut or something? Because I remember like back in the day, they like like radio and like MTV and stuff would play like they play Love Shack, and there was one other song that they played. I don't remember what it was, and then like Rock Lobster was a hit like a little later. But oh god. Oh, oh, and they did the Flintstones. If you really want to just rip your ears out. There's that too, you know. Flintstones make the flint. Like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Girl from Ipanema goes to Greenland. Oh, poison! Not good. Uh, we gotta take care of that. Thankfully, I definitely have moss. There it is. Deadbeat club. Okay. What's up, Wayne? How you doing? Oh, hello, Barrow Whites. You white. See how much it slowed down just from all those Barrow Whites and me and Pippin? Imagine if Sam and Mary were still around. Chain armor. Well, that'll upgrade Pippin's armor. Blah. Understandable. I feel you. And I can grab more moss. For not too far from here. Not the one that I just got, but like another one coming up. And I'm not backtracking if I don't have to. Yeah. This game's not all that well optimized. Frodo just leveling up while Pippin stands behind me and pretends to fight. That's a lot of barrel whites, man. They just swarming me. Today, Wayne, I learned of Bilbo the cat. There's some moss right there. And there's another item to grab before we leave. Pippin's doing something. I don't know. He's got business up there. I think that other bat went after Pippin. <laughs> Wherever he, wherever the hell he was. Oh, hello. Slow down. If 
four dollars. Which brings me to 55 pieces of gold. And we exit out via B62. If you ever want to see something sh fucking wild, just watch a speed run of this game. It's insane. Well, there you go. I didn't know they had that many, like, good songs. Like I said, I just, I mainly knew Love Shack, which was terrible. Some other song that I don't remember the name of that was kind of a hit around the same time. And, like, fucking... Rock Lobster, you know? Alright, so... Where am I now? I'm on B62. So I'm actually, uh... There? I think? Yeah. Let me just read what this says. I think this is the end. Yeah, I think, I think this is literally the end of the Barrow Downs. Private Idaho. Like your own private Idaho for when you really want potatoes, but you don't want to go all the way to regular Idaho. You go to private Idaho. Like the movie. I didn't know there was a movie called Private Idaho. First time hearing about it. It's just funny to me. All right. All right. I do have the key. I should have one key left. That'll get me out of here. We didn't need Tom Bombadil. Hey. That's the Barrow Downs. This is the Crossroads. Clark, not a Lord of the Rings character, looking for someone for a price. I could give you some information. That's cool, man. I don't need your information. So, um, eat me. With, uh, hoisin sauce. Eat my ass with hoisin sauce? It should be Brie. There is danger near. I can't open the gate to let strangers into the city. Oh, how do I get into Brie? Hold on. There's something I need to do, but give me a second. Oh, I gotta show him the gate key. What gate key? I have gateway gems, I don't have a gate key. I don't remember ever getting a gate key. I know I could show him Gandalf's letter, maybe that'll work. Deathcore pig squeak. He's not acknowledging that. I don't, tell me I missed some important island. Item way back. It's all the way back in Krakala. That's fantastic. Hold on a second. So you need to find you need to show him the key and you need to show him Gandalf's letter. And I don't have the gate key, it's all the way back in Krakala. Mary gave me the letter, but I don't I didn't I missed the key. I'm not, I'm not fucked, I just gotta go back to Krakala. Which unfortunately does mean going back through the Barrow Downs. Where the fuck was the gate key? Hold on. Three gate key. It says an elf gives it to me. What, what elf? I talked to all the elves I saw. Like, honestly, it, it just says... Given to you by an elf who lives in the forest near Krikalo. The only for the only elf I saw were the... There were like five elves in Krikalo. And Gildor was hanging around in the forest. And he gave me a gem. But... Let me... Let me... See if I can find a better free gate key word of the rings. Yes.
You gotta find Saurian... Saurian Rand? Saurian Rand. Yeah, it's an old forest. Uh, that's shitty. It's, it's in an area, it's like past where Gildor was, but... Alright guys, I want to make sure that I'm not like utterly, completely confused next week. So I'm going to go back through the Barrow Downs like right now and just get it, you know? It shouldn't be too bad to get back through it, because I don't have to stop for any items or anything. And I'm going to do it sped up. Hold on, though. So sorry about this. take that long, like I said. Especially if I'm ignoring enemies. Okay, hold on. Sorry about the crackling, it does that. For some reason, Heigen emulator does that when I speed up. Not every emulator does that, but this one sure the hell does. Okay, so this is field L. I can't believe I missed that, but that's what happens in this game. There's like this is just stuff that you could just miss. Okay, so this is K. Gotta find K. There we are. Wrong way, wrong way. Right way, but I gotta be above this. Alright, so this is. Wait, no. No, wrong. My bad, my bad. I was almost correct, but. It looked like an H, it was an M. Jeez, you think there's enough goblins here? Just to make it go faster? Okay, so this is I. Closer we get to G, it's if it's closer we get to A, the better, right? I'm sorry I'm going so long, guys, but it's just like I said, I need to... I don't want to be completely confused. Uh, we can go straight to D from here. That's for D's nuts. Okay, where is D? There 
it is. And then from here, you go straight across to C. Oh, right. It's hard to see those kind of things on the map, you know? So I want to at least get debris and stop there, you know, but not if I can't get in because I missed the key somehow. All right, so this is C. Um, now, unfortunately, I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Probably the one with the lowest number, I would think. Okay, so this is... This way. I've been keeping an eye on my health, but I'm fine. All right. All right. I should be in B now, right? Yeah. This way, this way, this way. Oh, nope. I should actually look at the map before I go fucking around here. I think I have to go through one of these. Guys, gonna get there. And I gotta find this elf I missed. Found a book. The writing is in Elvish. I'll have to give it to an elven elder for translation. Cool. I wasn't trying to find that, but okay. I don't think it's. I'm not sure that that's necessary, but you can give that to Elrond. I don't know where this guy is though, but I believe it's it's near Crick Hollow. So I'd at least get to Crick Hollow and then use that as a frame of reference. It'd be amazing if I just came across the dude, though, right? Oh, there's something there. Damn it. God, die already, piece of shit. 
Well, I kind of needed that, honestly, because like I said, I haven't been looking at my health too much, and I've been in speed up. Ah! Oh, money. Hey, Pippin. Dude, I'm like... Oh my god, I can't move. I don't know what the fuck Pippin's doing. He's doing the best he can, I guess. Nope. There we go. Maybe I should have just, like, followed a walkthrough instead of just trying to use maps. God, Frodo, move your fucking ass, dude. Well, here's Crick Hollow. Let me let me read this again and see exactly where it's supposed to be. All right. All right. All right. Here's okay. This is where Mary is. He gives you the note to Gandalf from Gandalf. Speak with the elves. All right. Southeast corner of this one has an amulet. I don't know if I got that or not. I should check. Yeah, I should just follow this walkthrough instead of trying to just use the maps. Fucking... Because it's easy when the maps actually have all the items labeled, but sometimes they don't. Look at that. There's an amulet that I had missed. Okay. Kind of east and then north. Okay, so east and then north, and that's where the guy is that I need to talk to. Where, where would you ever go north? Oh, there's like an area here. I thought that's where Bombadil was, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, here he is. All right. Sorry, Enrond. It takes two keys to open the gates of the city of Rhee. Here is one of the keys. The other is held by the gatekeeper. So he has the other key, and he'll use it if I show him the key and the low. All right, is there anything else? Let's see. That I have missed? All right, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go, 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 go. I'll have to try to munch some moss or something in the caves as I go by to heal myself, because right now I'm, like, low health. So I've just been going around getting chipped down by all these, like, mostly the wolves. Oh my god. I wouldn't get hit so much if I didn't get, keep getting caught on shit. I'm down to 33 health. Snakes, wolves, and goblins, exactly. Being chipped down by wolves. Calm down, Moogle. Indeed. You must remain calm. Alright, back to the Barrow Downs. Now let me... Go back to the map so I can hopefully get through it quickly. Well, I'm pretty sure I can just go in here. And then we just go all... Not that one. Not that one. Oh, 
that one. You see how fast I go through when I don't need to stop for anything, you know? Okay, so this is B. Actually, there doesn't seem to be any moss here, but... Let's go straight this way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Around this. Up here. Oh, why'd I stop? I just keep walking. They can't really get you if they're moving. Okay, so that was B12, which is there. Okay. This is D. We all know D stands for D's nuts. straight across to G. Oh, this will just heal me, can, you know? No big deal. Okay, this is G. And here, I can go to... Either H or I. I'm not sure which, actually. Uh, I think I, to be honest, because that can bring me to K, yeah. Don't want to get hit by that. I should have slowed down there, too, but... Okay, so this is K, which I'll reference if I ever find it. K's like right in the middle, right there it is. And from here, I can go to M or L. Probably M, right? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully Pippin's not nearly dead, but the, it's okay if he is. Oh, the slow down. Okay, this is M. I have to find. It's not easy. You gotta, you gotta find it. It's not just there. You gotta find it. That's H. If they were in some kind of order, this would be great. But they're not. Okay, so from here, yeah, we gotta go through this cave. Unfortunately, there's no healing in this cave. That'd be great, but there's not. Cool. Pippin got him. straight up out of here. Brings me to O. And then from O, I can go to P or Q, right? Uh, 
I'm actually not sure that that's where I'm supposed to go. I could be wrong there. I think I gotta go to the cave, B61. No, that's incorrect. Wait, so was I not supposed to do- Oh, let me read this real quick. I just wanna get out of here. You gotta get to N to, to get out, right? N is accessed from L. I wanted to be done with this a bit ago, but, you know. L is accessed from K, actually. My bad, I shouldn't have come this far. It's K that you go to. All right, uh... That brings me back to M. Which means I wasn't supposed to go through that cave, which is shitty. I thought I was, but I... Because I remember doing it, but that was for something else. My bad. It's after 11, but, you know, I do be like that. Way to go, Pippin. How is he doing health-wise? Oh, he's doing better than I am. Alright. Alright, so this is K. Right here. So what is it that I'm supposed to do in K that I'm not understanding? I go to L. Alright. I was pretty close to it being right, but it wasn't. All right, so this is L, which we take straight through to N. Almost out of here, but for real this time. from N. Gotta find it. That's M. There it is. Uh, there's sort of like two caves there, but I believe we want the one at the very top. There's some moss there, which is good. Yeah, Frodo really needs it. Oh god, leave me al Oh my god, I can't get away from these guys. Alright. So there's two bits of- I'm at 27 health. Alright, so there's two bits of moss I can grab on my way through here. I'm gonna have to kill these guys to get them out of here my way, though. One of them's right here. Brings him up to 46. That's why the game came with maps. Quick detour up here to heal. But yeah, it was rough. Alright, 65 health isn't bad. I said it came with maps, but yeah, I should have just used a walkthrough instead of trying to just use maps. Yeah, there's bats. They're just not super common here. But there are bats. Alright, let me grab the, uh... Key Debris. See, why would the Key Debris be all the way back near Crick Hollow? You know, that's, like, crazy. That if you miss it, you'd have to go back through the Barrow Downs. It's insane. Alright, let me show him the key. I see you have a key to the gate. You must be a friend of the city of Bree. I will let you in if you can prove you know someone inside. Alright, so all I gotta do now is show him the note from Gandalf. So, you're a friend of Gandalf's. Well then, I will let I will have to let you in immediately. The door is open. Let's go. Alright, let me just real quick find Aragorn. He's not far away from what I remember. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't see him at all. 
Ah, well, you know what? I'll go back to the gate. We'll figure it out next time. It's way late. I shouldn't be streaming anymore. Uh, I just didn't want to make it a confusing thing. In case I, for some reason, need that. There it is. It's at the end of the VOD. But let me go ahead and save it here, and we're going to go over the schedule, and then we're going to do a raid, guys. So we, we got a good amount through the game. But once we get Aragorn to join us, he'll he'll be the main character, and, you know. But all right, here is uh, the schedule. This is what's going on for the next week or so. Tomorrow afternoon, I will be playing The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind for Steam. Saturday night, I will be playing more of Xenogears for the PlayStation. Sunday night, more East 9 Monstrum Knox for Steam. Monday afternoon, more Guilty Gear X for PlayStation 2. Uh, Tuesday night, more of Alwa's Awakening for Steam. Wednesday afternoon, more of Dragon Quest Builders for the Switch. And Thursday night, a week from today, we'll be right back here with Lord of the Rings Volume 1 for the SNES. Uh, let's go over here and see who we have online that we can raid. Guys, don't go anywhere just yet. Please stick around for this raid. It means a lot. I think we're going to raid... Um, damn, Daniel. Dan's playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Thank you, Moogle. I'm going to do that. Let's see if he gets this joke. Probably not, but we're going to... Why am I not hearing anything? It's running an ad, but... I haven't muted. There we go. All right. I thought you would make it! Alright, we're going to raid Dan. Pixels. Guys, there is your raid call. Copy that. That bit of nonsense that I typed. Paste it as we head into Dan's stream. He is playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let's just head over there. Wait for him. Yep, there it is. Anybody is welcome to join. Pretty solid lock. Pretty solid 